Hey, Mama Thor. Just getting set up here. How's everybody doing? I'm on a tray here, so we'll see how this goes. And it's storming out, so we'll see how the day goes. And I got some something there on my hand. No, maybe it's maybe it's a bruise. <laughs> I got a little something right there. Um, hi, Janice, Abigail. Uh, hi, G. G. I saw your little pin cushions. Those are so cute. On Instagram. That was so cute. Oh, I didn't do my nails. Wait, let me get some let me get some polish while I'm talking to you guys. <laughs> Put something over this blue that's chipped off. It's been storming here for like, I don't know, two or three days. We've had rain and storms coming through. And so if y'all hear, and there's the cats, um, if y'all hear um, thunder boomers, it's because uh, it's not really, it's just thunder, really. I mean, I, I guess there's lightning associated with it. But uh, as long as we're connected, we'll see how long we stay connected. Let me move this table over just a little. There we go. So, um, yeah, so if you hear... Uh, you'll probably hear it because it's been going on all night. So, um, and so the cats are kind of hanging out with me, but as long as they're out of my way. So, hope everybody had a good weekend. If you were busy, I'm just going over the blue. <laughs> I'm just going over this blue. I'll redo them later. Just put a coat of silver over the blue. So, uh, hi, Gaga. Let's see. Um, Darla. No, baby. Oh, okay. You can have the pencils. Uh, Karina, Shannon, anybody else here? I see a couple new people. Thanks for being here, guys. Uh, Monday, stormy Monday. A couple of boomers woke me up in the middle of the night. I mean, they were loud. I mean, the whole house shook. With the with the thunder, and um, the cats woke up. Of course, you know it's like, what's all this? They're just looking at us like, what is going on? So there's Oliver right there. Let's see, Kimberly five five seven. We had the worst thunder last night too. Yeah, Pacola. Yeah, Pacola's down in uh, Florida. So she was on, there's a line of storms going, cutting across the south. So I'm sure she was like right in that same line. Is it cleared up for you yet, uh, Pacola? <clears throat> We're going to have rain today and tomorrow. I think, I don't know about storms, but it's going to be, you know, today it's all day. So, um, yeah. So I thought I would do something simple, something like anybody can do this. It's very chill. You just, it's rainy there now. Yeah, it's going to rain here, I think, all day today and, and maybe tomorrow. Um, but I think the storm's pretty much, you know, blowing through. Yeah. Let's see, Darla. Hi, Beatty, I bet. Oh, my gosh, Beatty, I bet. I hope you, you get a lot of business off of those rings. I did retweet. Uh, I did retweet your, um, where you were advertising your rings on Twitter uh, because they are awesome. They're so awesome. If you do not uh, know about BDI Beth Crafts, follow her on Instagram or follow her here too, but or on Facebook. She has most beautiful rings made out of subway tokens, coins, different things. So um, yeah, they are amazing. Amaze balls. <laughs> Let's see. Hi, Pamela. Okay, lurk away. Lurk away. We um hi Janet. So I don't know how uh, Janet and them were out, out in Oklahoma were expecting some. Um, I don't know how that was a couple days ago. I think they all moved over here. So, uh, yeah, it's been storming here for a couple days. Um, hi, Ian. Christina. Oh, good, because they they're beautiful. They are beautiful. So we're going to do real simple today. As soon as my cats, there, there goes one. No, you, you can't, you have to get in, baby. Get, get in. Don't go in my cords. 
So y'all know I got this book. Well, I had an, I have another one. I have a black one that I used for, and this was like 2015, I think. I used it for a while and did some stuff in it. And then, of course, some of it I deconstructed, some I used in other places. Y'all know me. I'll take a book apart in a minute. <laughs> so anyway, um, <clears throat> I just put some collage fodder out here for the thumbnail. Where is that light? Let's see. I need my other, need my other light diffuser. I need my Ian Jean Sassy Pants light diffuser on that light. Let's just kind of prop it up. That one just kind of rests on the... This one kind of just rests on uh, some pencils and stuff. <clears throat> usually stays. Usually. Let's see. Maybe I turn it around. It usually stays right there. I'm propped up. To, but uh, it is, um, you know, my lighting, I don't know today, because it's like black outside, you know, storming outside. So I think that's good. So um, it was crappy weather. Yeah, here too. <clears throat> So happy Monday, Teresa. We did get out. Let's see what day was it. There was one day where it's like nice half a day. Then it stormed that night and it's been storming since. Well, it's just really thunder booming right now. But as long as my electricity is on, which it is, we're going to be here. <coughs> so, yeah. Hi, Diana. So if you're joining us for the first time, I'm Dee Dee. This is Coffee and Art in the Morning. Uh, oh, I got a tweet too. I didn't tweet just coffee. And um, so I usually come on a few minutes early. I stream every Monday and Wednesday at 9 a.m. Eastern, but I usually come on a little early to say good morning to everybody, ask everybody how their weekend was. Oh, thanks, Janet. Oh, Janet, I guess we need a few more thumbs up. Let me tweet real quick. Um, coffee and art. In the morning. I always forget. Let's see. Where's a eh, eh, here's my little artist link in profile? Coffee on the morning live, link in profile, tweet. Okay. So yeah. <clears throat> so anyway, um, so Colleen pulled out her book like this. Well, uh, she's had hers for a while too. She had a she had a black one, and so did I. And we were both using it kind of as um, well. I started with a glue book, ink book, so it would be like gluing and drawing and sketching and doodling with the collage fodder bits in it. And uh, so Colleen was doing one too. Well, when Colleen pulled out her book that she hadn't pulled out in some years either. I said, oh my gosh, I forgot how much I enjoyed that book. So I ordered me another one. So I ordered the pink one. It, you can't really tell. It's really hot pink. Uh, so I ordered another one. And I started working in it. And I go, no, I don't want to do that. I started doing something. I mean, I have a, a thing in here. I started doing something in here, a few things. And I said, I don't like it. So I took those pages. I was only three pages because I don't care about the numbering of them. They are all numbered. 800 pages in this baby and it is guys it's just like copy paper paper it's not it's just cheap paper in it it's just for sketching doodling nothing don't do anything important in it <laughs> that, that you don't care if it's on a uh, copy paper so um i just hi mark what kind of witchery is this <laughs> hi mark how you doing <coughs> And, um, yeah, how is everything down there in down under Carrie is I just saw Janet say something to Carrie Ann. Uh, and hi, Janice. Who else am I missing? Cassie, Debbie, the doodler, Elaine. I know I'm missing some people. Thanks everybody. Thanks for being here. And thanks for the thumbs up. And speaking, and speaking of Carrie Ann, hi, skinny cat. Um, and a couple other people that let me, and I'll say it again in a little while because this is pre chat. So I'll say it again, you know, during when there's more people here. So, three, well, actually, two people international and one person here. I don't know if Dr. Dot's here yet, but anyway, Sue's won a composition book and wanted it sent to Dr. Dot in the UK. Carrie Ann in Australia won a comp book. And 
a girl in Finland won a comp book. You know, the dollar, dollar general comp books. So I got them all packaged up, put them, double taped them, put the international shipping slip on them, went to the post office, $25 each, each. I said, I can't do this. I, I can, I've got, this is it right here. I cannot send a dollar composition book international for $25. They could order it off of Amazon for probably five. So I don't know. I don't know what their international in Finland and Australia is. So instead I sent uh, those three international people an envelope full of some little art and doodles and some of my art. So, uh, yeah, I'm not, I didn't carry in. I sent you some art instead. I sent you an envelope of, of some of my personal sketches, original sketches, doodles. So I sent those three people, those international, and I hope they like it. I hope they like it instead of a comp book, but it was just that, that cannot be justified. That just, that just cannot be justified. Hi, Prisma. Good to see you. So uh, I could not spend $75 on three $1 composition books. So, um, yeah, I, I figured people would like the art too, Mark. The other thing is, so, so going forward, guys, I don't know if they've raised the rates for international. I have no idea. But from now on, when I do giveaways on books like that or any book, if you are international, you are still welcome to uh, participate in the giveaway, but I will be sending you an envelope of art. I can't afford that, even with Super Chat and, you know, some PayPal tips. I cannot afford $25 uh, per envelope. So that's just going to be my new rule. And I figure people will like the art anyway. So that's my new rule. Um, if you win, if you're international... <laughs> and by that, I mean outside of the U.S. Uh, if you win a giveaway, it's going to be a little envelope. Well, I say little. It's it's this big, you know, an envelope, you know, one of these here. Hang on. And I pack it full. You know, I put a lot in there. And it's, it's like $2. It's like $2 to mail one of these pack full. So um, that's going to be the giveaways from now on for international because I don't know if they just raise the rates or or what, <laughs> but uh, that's just that's just crazy. That's just crazy. I know you. I figured you would. I figured everybody would like the art instead anyway. So it, you know it's more special. So I just want to let you know, Carrie Ann, Mila in Finland, and Doctor Dot. You got some envelopes of art in the mail. It's already been sent out in the mail to you. So just FYI. So um, that's going to be the deal. Let's see. Um, yeah, that's, I think, I think people enjoy the art more anyway. Yeah, it had international postage has just gone crazy. So anyway, that's the that's a new policy for uh, giveaways. I do I still want to do giveaways. I want the international people to feel like they are a part of it, but it's just going to have to be some envelopes of art rather than you know twenty five dollar uh, composition books. So <clears throat> thanks, G. Thanks, G. And if y'all don't follow G Broder Brody over on. Uh, on Instagram, she is making the cutest pin cushions. <laughs> I saw it over the weekend. Um, yeah, and Gaga Toots, I saw uh, you bought the syllabus and making comics for your project. Okay, well, you don't need to use, don't use those for your project. I mean, I don't know uh, what you plan on doing with them. I love those books, but I'm not, they're not part of my project. Um, other than the inspiration of using a composition book. I have been getting a lot of people uh, messaging me, emailing me, uh, hashtag comp book 2020. A few people um, have been hashtagging it on Instagram. If you, um, and everybody's having fun with it. And, and really like once they find their topic, once you discover the topic you like, then it's fun for you. I am still working on my hieroglyphs and symbols. 
And um, oh, I missed you too, Prisma, and your sense of humor. I hope you're doing okay. I haven't seen you. Me you haven't messaged me in a while. Uh, let's see. Gare got Gare's mixed bag. Hi. Oh, thanks. Thank you so much. Uh, I don't know if I follow you. I'll have to go look at your channel. Uh, hi, Painty Girl Priscilla. Hi, Desert Nana. Anybody else popping in? Thank you. And so anyway, a lot of people have really been, uh, uh, that have found their uh, topic are really enjoying doing it. So I'm glad everybody's doing that. The other thing is Janet is doing her scavenger hunt. I see a lot of people posting on, I don't know if I've seen too many hashtags on Instagram, but I've seen them on Twitter. Uh, Janet scavenger hunt that she started on New Year's. Um, that, that looks like everybody's having a lot of fun with that too. Hi, whimsical one. Who else? Nancy Dunn. Um, y'all make sure and check out each other's channels. Um, used to just be Gary. Oh, okay, Gary. Oh, well, Gary, did you start a, did you start a channel, Gary? I mean, I know everybody has to have a channel, but I mean, posting on a channel. Because now you have a face and <laughs> change your name. And so, <laughs> hi, Holly D. Uh, Molly, let's see who else is popping in. Holly and Molly. <laughs> oh, so again, I pulled this book out that I got. Oh, I guess got it last week. And uh, to do, uh, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of do the same thing uh, that Colleen and I started doing in these books some years ago. I'm gonna go kind of back to doing that just to show you. It's gonna be a very chill day, guys. Been storming for you know days here. Uh, I did pull look look just to show y'all. I have a full bin here. This is a full bin of collage fodder. Plus, I have my other collage fodder that um, I use for collage for my posters. Okay, there's a shadow right there. Um, so anyway, it's going to be a chill day. Gluing, chatting, hi, Journey. And just just so that you don't always, just to know that sometimes you don't feel like doing a full-on project that let me just get some scissors here and I'll start doing something. I just picked up this butterfly and I just pulled out a mishmash of stuff. Um, sometimes you don't feel like thinking about a project. You just want to, you just want your hands to be doing something. It's kind of like knitting, you know, uh, although Jean would say, I have to think all the time when I'm, well, she probably doesn't. Jean wouldn't because she's knit for so long. Um, and I don't really want these, I, I don't want to draw, I mean, I don't want to cut out those uh, feeler or those antenna. So I'm just going to cut those off and then I'll draw those on. Um, sometimes you just feel like doing something, I don't want to say mindless, but sort of, you know, where you don't really have to think of anything. You just want to, you want to be doing something creative. You don't really want to, you don't know what, you don't want a big project. You just want to, you know, you just want to glue. <laughs> So that's what we're doing today. I'm just going to play with all this fodder. I've got bins and bins of collage fodder, as y'all know. Uh, I have no idea what I'm going to pull out. I don't know what I'm going to like. I don't know what I'm going to glue. But I do like that butterfly. So that's going to get blued in. That's going to that's gonna get blued in. <laughs> I kind of even like it here. I don't know how well it would stay on here, though. I'd have to really make sure and glue that down well. But I kind of do like it. Right there. Maybe we'll just go for it. So, um, and when I do glue books like this, now this is cardstock. If it's cardstock weight, I'll usually put it with the tacky glue because it's uh, it needs a little thicker glue, uh, better than uh, a glue stick. You don't necessarily have to, but since this is going to be on the cover, I thought, you know, we should probably glue it down really well. So I'm going to just glue that down. So, um, but usually in these thin papered books that I just put ideas in, sketches, doodles, you know, uh, collage fodder, as we used to call it, desk journals. You know, we just throw whatever's left in there. Just use a glue stick. You don't need to get out your matte medium and you don't have to get out gesso. This is just a glue book, <laughs> kind of a you know, uh, mixed media, because I will be doodling in it and stuff. So if y'all remember back when we did this, 
book like this back in, I think, I think Colleen said it was 2015 when we did it. So somewhere around 2015, we did these books. And um, so since, you know, she got hers out and I decided I needed a new one because I'd already used the other one up. So, <clears throat> so we're going to start fresh and uh, let's see here. Let me check my, let me move this camera over here just a little. I probably need to zoom in. I did raise my camera up just a little. There's a shadow right there. That's better. Might be a little glary, but I think we're good. Now here come the cats. So anyway, I just pulled out a bunch of stuff and I don't even know where, where I've got half of it or what, but you know. Um, yeah, thanks, Prisma. I don't know what I like. I said I've got bin, I've got a full bin here. It's one of those that are about mm, I guess it's about six inches deep, and it's probably about a maybe an eighteen by twenty bin. I don't know. Well, it's this size, whatever this size is. It's this size bin <laughs> sitting next to me, full of uh, collage fodder. Okay, so let's move some of this over here so there's not a much glare. It's still that one. Let me see. Maybe it's just that light right there. So, and we got the cat. Look, I'm going to show you. <laughs> Oliver's right there. Let's see. This needs to come over some. That should be about right. So anyway, what's everybody else doing today? How's everybody else's weather? I hope everybody's safe and sound. It seems like the Thunder Boomers have stopped. I could check the weather app and see what the radar looks like. <laughs> uh, so anyway, uh, I did have to go last week. I had to go to the DMV and get my... Uh, driver's license renewed because I guess everybody's got new licenses now with a star on them. So I already have a passport and a passport card. So, uh, but they wanted a, uh, they wanted, you know, a, they're, they're issuing new licenses with stars on them. So I had to go in and, and I guess the time I went was good because there was only two people ahead of me, which was like amazing. <laughs> there was only two people ahead of me. So I just, you know, I guess we just timed it just right. Um, need a reminder, please. What's the hashtag for our fibs books? For the comp books, baby, you can't go over here with the cords. No, 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 no. Can't be next to the cords. A uh, comp book 2020. C O M P B O O K 2020. Hashtag comp book 2020. And I'm not sure if Janet has one for the. Uh, no, baby, you're you're gonna you're getting in trouble now. Come on, let's. You're gonna have to go out. The thunder has stopped, so you can be brave. <laughs> He's just trying to get in every little nook and cranny, you know, like cats do. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I don't know what Janet's hashtag is for the uh, for the uh, scavenger hunt. Do you have one for the scavenger hunt, Janet? <clears throat> if I decide if it wants to snow or rain, it's done both this morning. Ah, uh, okay, Priscilla. Hi, Kenny. How you doing? Let's see who else. Mama four. Who else am I missing? Hi, Scoops. Just saying a little bit of good morning before we get started gluing and just chatting, gluing and chatting, chatting and gluing. I have my fan on today because it's kind of humid in the house. Um. <clears throat> Okay, scavenger on 2020 for the scavenger hunt. Comp book 2020 for comp book. Scavenger hunt 2020 for the scavenger hunt uh, challenge. Hi, Kat. Hi, Susan. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Thanks for the thumbs up. So, again, um, I'm going to be using um, just gluing in whatever I like. Or, in this case, I also, let's see. This needs to come over, cover this black spot up, right? That's just aggravating me. There we go. That's better. <clears throat> I have all these different, I have uh, multiples of these faux wood papers on my desk because apparently the light really likes that, really likes this uh, wood grain. <laughs> so I got them, I got some of these sheets uh, at Hobby Lobby, uh, faux grain, wood grain. 
All right, so I got some uh, this glue. I have, where's my, here we go, glue stick and my book here. I'll just put the glue to the side. I got scissors. And uh, what else do I have? Anything to take notes? Got my phone. Anything else going on? I did, uh, I did tweet. So again, my name's Dee Dee. If you're joining us for the first time, or if you're new, uh, I stream every Monday and Wednesday, 9 a.m. Eastern, and occasional with the occasional um, impromptu. But uh, and Janet streams at one after I do, and she never knows what she's going to do either. Where'd I get this? Uh, Amazon. Yeah. They're, um, it's a productive Ludite is who puts them out. And uh, they come in different colors. Oh, something's stuck on here. They come in different colors. Uh, the last one um, I had was black. But they have them, I think, in blue, red, pink. This is hot pink. It doesn't look as hot pink on camera. It looks more red on camera, but it's a hot pink. Uh, it doesn't have the butterfly. I just glued that on. <laughs> but uh, make sure you get the one that has 800 pages. There's another one that's 200 pages. It's cheaper, too. I mean, obviously. Uh, there's one that has 200 pages, about like that. Um, there even may be a 400. This one has 800. So it's like, um, let me see. Is it an inch and a half thick? Let me get my, let me get my Janet ruler. <laughs> Probably two inches. So it's actually uh, two inches thick. It's actually two inches thick. And it is, uh, let me get the right angle here. It's seven by 10. Seven by 10, two inches thick. And then, again, guys, it's just copy paper thin. It's just cheap copy paper in there, right? Um, but it's good for it, <laughs> it's good for doodling note taking, idea collecting. This is like a good society of idea collector notebook. If you're not anal like me and have your society of idea collector three ring binder tabbed and divided by topic, <laughs> if you just want to throw in some ideas. This is perfect. Um, no, no, this one, no, it's not at Barnes and Noble. I've never seen these at Barnes and Noble. I've only seen them on Amazon. Well, probably at the Productive Ludite, their own company. You can probably get it there. But they're on, I've never seen this at uh, Barnes and Noble. Not saying they've never been there. I've never seen one there. I've only seen these on Amazon. <clears throat> so that's just, and they're hefty. I mean, you know, if you don't have Prime, you're going to pay that shipping. So just saying. Hi, Carla, Ray, who else? I said I had a journey. Let's see. Um, yeah, it's a, it is. It's a lot, Ian. It's a lot. There, Jana just put the link in. Yeah, and again, make sure you get the 800-page one, and you can select your color. So, again, it does have a index in the front. 800 lines where you can you can uh, write down whatever you know if you because all the pages are numbered it's very small but all the pages are numbered and so if you want to index your pages that's the feature I really liked about it right uh, I started putting a couple I, last week I did two or three pages in here and I said no I don't want to go that direction in this book so I tore those pages out and put those pages in another book <laughs> y'all know I will deconstruct and reconstruct a book in a second, in a second. Uh, I did re deconstruct another one, but I'll show you that in a little while. Um, Janet knows I went and bought some uh, over the weekend. Well, was it Friday? I don't remember what day, day it was. But anyway, bought some more Happy Planner rings and made another book. <laughs> yeah, I love making them. And I do use them. I don't necessarily fill them. But I let y'all have lots of book making or book, uh, you know, different kinds of sketchbooks and journals. You'll have lots of ideas. So you'll have one to pick from. Um, so, but uh, anyway, all right. So I did write my name in here. I did it with the, um, where's my brush pen? I say brush pen. They're really just a uh, touch. One of these, uh, one of these uh, nibbed. You know, they're like a plastic nib pen and they're they're perfect for the flare, the the flare pen. 
uh, is it who puts out the flare? Anyway, is it just flare? Pintail? Anyway, flare. Flare pins are good too for writing in um, brush lettering. You know, I don't, they call it brush lettering. It's not a brush. <laughs> you can do it with a brush too. Um, I also like to use um, my super tips in a thin. This is a very thin. It's like I said, it's copy weight paper thin. But um, unless you really like color, 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 color. Uh, a soup, a Crayola super tip bullet nib. They're called super tips because you can get uh, different. Let's get a little piece of paper here. Where do uh, how how can I not have like just a plain piece of paper? You know, oh, let me pull something out of here. Well, here's a little thing here. This says live. Let me get a darker color so you can see. Um, <clears throat> What I like about the super tips is you can get thick, medium, a little thinner, and real thin. You can get all, all that with one marker, and these do not bleed through. They don't even bleed through Bible pages unless you just, you know, go over and over and over it. So super tips are really good for any kind of thin paper. As same as uh, Sharpie pens. Do I have one right here? A Sharpie pen, not a Sharpie marker, but a Sharpie pen. And it says it on there. These will not bleed through either. So Sharpie pens and Crayola Super Tips if you're using um, thin paper. Okay. So what I like about um, what I like about a book like this is it's like no thinking. Now this one again has index. If you want to use it for other things like you know, cataloging something, topics, quotes, if you want to write quotes in it, and then you can uh, categorize your quotes, you can list them, whatever. So it is nice to have an index if you are so inclined to write out, um, write them out. Um, so uh, let's see who else has popped in. Angie, Vanu Vanuka, Vanuka, Ver Veruca, Veruca, um, can well, it looks like Veruca can be kicked out, uh, Janet. Yeah, we can say goodbye. We can say goodbye to Veruca. Bye bye, Veruca. Bye bye. Uh, let's see. Mm -mm. Uh, and I do want to uh, remove that comment. Okay. Uh, so anyway, we're gonna. <laughs> Yeah, I got I got rid of her comment um, or his whatever you know. I don't know. Is there a uh, is there an, again? I always wonder, you know, when the trolls come in if there's a school holiday. <laughs> All right, so I glued this, and this was uh, in an Egyptian. Uh, it had a bunch of Egyptian stuff in it, and I just thought this was so cute. This reminded me of oh, what's his name? Uh, I really like him at the High Museum. He's passed away. And I gave my book to Nini, my uh, Annie, my daughter. So I don't have it. Um, tr uh, Bill, Bill, tr Bill tra Taylor. Bill Trailer. Bill Trailer. I think that's it. Bill Trailer. Is it Bill Taylor? I think it's Bill Trailer. And uh, he's a folk artist. And I've had a book on him. And Annie loves him as much as I do. Anyway, this kind of reminded me of him. And um, I sent my book to Annie. Uh, for Christmas, so uh, I can't show you the book, but I have shown it before. But I think it's Bill Trailer. Let me see. Let me look it up. I should look it up on my iPad so you can see it. Bill Trailer. Um, T R A Y L O R artist. I think that's. Uh, yeah, here he is. T. It's T R A Y L O R. Bill Trailer. T R A Y. And uh, let's see, here's, let me show some of his artworks here. I've shown his book before. Um, but um, I sent it to Annie, so I can't show it to you. But just look him up, Bill Trailer. And uh, so I really love his artwork, the simplicity of it. This just reminded me of it. So I cut that out and glued it in. So again, it's not, not necessarily because I want to do anything with this. I just like the image. So that's kind of what and why I glued this butterfly on the front. I just like that image. And that's what I'm going to do with this book. 
did enable me to buy the super tips last Saturday. <laughs> yeah, Priscilla, you won't be sorry. They're so versatile. They're so versatile. And again, you can use them for, let me just get a sheet of paper here for scratch. I, I got one under here. Well, I did have one. So you can do your brush lettering. Like I'll just, I'll just do my name. Again, the strokes for the brush lettering with either markers or the foudre or the flares, it is light on the upstroke, dark on the downstroke. So like if I was going to do my initials, I'll try, I'll do it a little on the thin side first. So there's like dark on the downstroke, light, dark. I'll just do Dee Dee. See? <clears throat> so you can do brush lettering with the super tips as well. Uh, and when you do this, it's called brush lettering, but it's really marker, mar marker lettering. <laughs> uh, you you want to go real slow. You want to take your time. Hi, Elena. You want to take your time and doing it. Hi, Rickster. Uh, Rickster, do we need to block you too? Uh, I guess so. I guess we got another... We got another, um, yeah. Sorry, Rickster. Okay, so uh, <laughs> it's Monday morning. Trolls get up. Don't they, can't they just go to work or create something? Do, you know, don't they have something better to do on a Monday? <laughs> oh, my gosh. So um, if you want to do that here, let me do it with the food day here. This is smaller. So I'll do it like thin, wait, wait, thick, thin. <clears throat> so you see, but you do want to write really slow uh, according to all the professionals that know that do this. You know, I've done calligraphy for years, but this is a different... Um, hand eye thing than just calligraphy <coughs> with a dip nib and uh like gothic lettering and that kind of thing so um you do there is a learning curve to it and uh, so anyway there's a couple different things that you can do with your lettering if you want and i'll just keep this handy because i keep looking for a piece of paper to write on <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Janet. Thanks, guys. Uh, thanks, Tindaloo. Um, all right. So I'm not going to, I thought I would just go through and find things I want to glue. And I'm not going to do the back side. I'm just going to do one page. I guess it'll be just quicker. And I just thought, however, you know, just chatting, digging through. I've got stickers. I've got tissue paper. I've got rub-ons. And the thing about this kind of stuff is just whatever you feel like you like, like, let's just pick a rub on here. Let's just pick one here. Um, I kind of like her. I like that shoe. And these are like old clip art. This is put out by, I think, Seven Gypsies. Is it put out by Seven Gypsies? Yeah. These were put out by Seven Gypsies some years ago. And then Michaels had them on clearance for like a dollar or two. And does ink matter? Does ink matter with what? You mean with the with the brush lettering or on the paper? I'm not sure what the question on the brush, I mean, on the ink, does the ink matter? You forgot about the rub-ons? Yeah. And so these are just old clip art, old clip art that's uh, copyright free. And what they've done is they've turned them into rub-ons. And uh, so they're just a lot of fun. I like to take them and doodle with them, add, you know, add two or three different odd things together. Like, uh, here, I'll show you. Let's do this. So just whatever you want to put in your book. You can glue things, you can cut, you know, uh, rub on stickers, just anything you want, just to have fun, just to have fun with it. Yeah, the trolls, they're, they're just, bless their heart. <laughs> they don't have anything else to do. Maybe we need to send them a color book. Does a, tr Do the trolls need a color book? 
Uh, hi, Arlene. Um, yes, the book will become thick. Yes, Tindaloo, it will. It will bulk up. You will have a fluffy book. You will have a fluffy book. I'll show you. Uh, let me show you um, my book. That's an old composition book called Fluffette. <laughs> Just to give you an example. Let me. I keep it up on the shelf here. Let me reach up and get it. Ugh. Okay. So this is a composition. Uh oh. Things are coming out of it. This is a composition book that I made. I don't even know how many years ago. Eight or nine years ago. Hang on, some stuff's falling out. I made this like eight or nine years ago. And I started to, it's kind of like the my new fibs book. My new fibs book is on uh, the Happy Planner Rings. I made, I punched my own book, used the Happy Planner Rings. I'm making a new fibs book. This is kind of my original fibs book. Like, uh, I don't know, eight or nine years ago when I first started collecting up our fibs and their favorite colors, what their hobbies, what they like to do. Just like a little tribute to the friends in the box. Well, it started out as a composition book. Let me just show it to you. Wait, here. This is what, you know, a composition book looks like. Well, this one I just have covered with a scrapbook paper. I'm just showing you the cover here. I covered the um, old... Um, composition book with this piece of scrapbook paper and I tabbed it at the time there were 100 fibs 100 friends in the box so I made a tab and a double page spread for each fib this is what it ended up being <laughs> so yes your book will bulk up and that's why I call this one fluffette <laughs> it's very fluffy so, uh, yeah, it, you can see it does, <laughs> it does bulk up. <laughs> so if you start adding, if you start adding stuff in this book, it will bulk up. <laughs> Just saying. So, yeah, I, I haven't shown it in a while, but <laughs> it's a very fluffy one, isn't it? <laughs> So you can see some of the names there of some of the people. I, I made a tab for everybody that was in um, in our group back on Ustream, back in, uh, back, uh, you know, starting, uh, well, it was almost 10 years ago. And then um, I think I made this one about probably eight or nine years ago. So again, it's this, but it just shows you how a composition book will hold up. No pages are falling out. <laughs> they're not falling out uh, so yeah yeah cover your book with the design paper there's the back it's another scrap piece of scrapbook paper I liked and then there's the front and uh, so yeah all right so that's uh, just an FYI your book will bulk up so let's get that back up on my shelf where it sits all fluffy okay <clears throat> All right, so in here, now we're going to go back to our 800-page book. <laughs> what happened, Barb? Let's see, you need to figure out how to fix it. How is your still together? No, no, mine did not come unglued. It's sewn. A composition book, your composition book should be sewn if it's a real composition book. There's faux ones out there, people. I told you I found some on Amazon. Let's see here. Let's see. Yeah. See, like these are fake composition books that I got off of Amazon. And they're just glued. That's just glued in there as far as I can see. You need the you need one that's sewn. Sewn bound. If you're gonna bulk it up. If you're not gonna bulk it up, and this is gonna be the same way. Let's see, is this one's glued? I think this is just this is just glued too. So this could it but here's the thing. I've had other books that have pages start to come out. What I do is just tape it in. Yes, Colleen, the freestyle book, we've been talking about it. Uh, what I do is I'll just put uh, tape, a washi tape. Now, if you use washi tape as a to hold something, you want to glue it because washi tape's just meant to tack something down. It's not meant to really be a, you know, a, a, a real support. 
So if you use washi tape, you want to use glue with the washi tape. Hi, Mary, <laughs> little fox. Uh, if you're going to use it as a real tape. If you're just going to tape something down like, um, let me see what, if you're just going to tape a little piece of paper or something down, you know, then, then that's fine. You just, you know, that's fine. But if you don't ever want it to come up, you know, that, that's, look, that, that's not going to work. It's not going to work. So. <clears throat> okay. So what I'm going to do here is, uh, oh, these rub on. So just as an example, I just thought this was really cute. Let's just see here. Now, if you're going to do a rub on, because you're going to be putting pressure on thin paper, with either a popsicle stick or a bone folder, or whatever, you don't want to be marking up the next five pages, right? So you want to put you want to put a piece of uh, cardstock or something under it, so you're not denting. And maybe you don't care. You know, if you're just going to be slapping stuff in here like crazy, you're not going to care if it's going to dent. But if you do care that it's going to dent, so I thought this would be kind of cute. Let's see how far do I want it? Like, let's go ahead and put this down first. All right, so I'm going to put this down first. Do I want it in the middle? Do I want it? You know, you can just put it wherever. All right, so this is just a rub on, which means you just rub it on. And you can doodle and draw and add your own things with this. Like, well, maybe I'll add something different with this than I had intentioned because I kind of want to show that process. So, Coley, we already talked about you and your book, too. Talked about you already this morning with your ears burning. <laughs> and you really want to hold these in place because if it shifts, if it moves, then your uh, rub-on's not going to be in the same spot. Where am I from? Um, well, I've lived a lot of places all over the United States, but I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. That's where I am now. So I've been for a while. <laughs> um, let's see. Kimberly. I know I'm a hi, Julie Topaz. Happy Marvelous Sunday. Just working in. A, I'm calling it what I titled it. Inspiration Mixed Media Glue Book. But it's really a doodle book, too. I could have added the word doodle in there. I just had to have a title for the uh, show to start, so I put that in there. Um, you could also be using your uh, Society of Idea Collector book, and I will hashtag this as a Society of Idea Collector episode. Pacola will make me. <laughs> Pacola will make me. Hi, Barb. Uh, Nana Mo. Who else is here? Katie, thanks everybody for being here. Oh, and now that enough people are here, let me and the usual regulars are here. I want to say it again. I said it earlier. Is and I'm just going to be talking, chatting, and gluing and stuff. So if y'all have any questions, just put them in caps. Make sure you have live chat selected at the top. Otherwise, not all your chat will be seen by you. <laughs> Um, so make sure you have live chat, make sure you're in 720 or 1080p. Um, oh, and I should have, before I threw that away, you want to take the backside and just kind of rub, you know, make sure it's all flattened out. Uh, emergency flash flood. Okay. Really? Um, okay. Well, I'm not going out. So anyway, we just got a flash flood warning. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, um, Oh, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, make sure you have live chat selected and make sure you um, have it in HD. Because sometimes if uh, YouTube glitches, it can throw you back to 144 and you're going to be all fuzzy. So you want to make sure that it's there. The other thing, so what I said earlier this morning, I'm going to kind of just dig through. Look, I got all this collage fodder. I have, I just pulled, this is just a tray right here, but I have the actual bin, the six inch deep bin that's right next to me. It's full to the top, full to the top of collage fodder that I'm going to be pulling from, 
plus other things, magazines. Oh, that's a really, that was really loud. Uh, magazines. Um, hang on. Oh, let's see. Mm, if you see a magazine, calendar images. Let's pull, let me, let me just find something out of here. Uh, just to just to promote her book. Katherine Anderson, she has all kinds of books on collage imagery, doors, windows, portals. And if you follow her on Instagram and post something with the hat with the tagging her, she she answered me anyway. She commented on mine. So uh promote her if you do use her stuff or anybody's you know, books that you, you know, know, put, put the tag them in it. So this is one of her books here. So I'm just going to, I have no idea what I'm going to do. I really like this little shrine thing. I like this. I like, well, I like it all, you know? Um, okay. So about back to my announcement. And again, guys, I know I'm probably missing some, see somebody put something in caps up here. We'll be rowing her boat. Chili <laughs> yeah. So, um, so I announced earlier that three people had won a composition book that were international. Three international people had won a comp a competition. I mean, a, a, a what do you call it? A uh, giveaway, composition book giveaway, international. And I went to the post office to mail. They were they were a dollar. You know, cost me a dollar for the uh, for the composition book. <laughs> And go to the post office, and they're twenty-five dollars each. I said I can't do it. I can't do it. So those three people that uh, Carrie Ann, who was here earlier, so she already heard me say this. Carrie Ann, um, Mila in Finland, and Doctor Dot, who Sue's Sue's won the the comp book and wanted me to send it to Doctor Dot. Well, those three people are getting an envelope of my art instead. Because I cannot do that. I cannot spend $25 on a dollar composition book or any book. So the new rule is going to be this. This is my new rule for uh, giveaways. Uh, I still want the international people to be a part of it. They'll still be able to win. But if you win a giveaway, if you win a giveaway, you will get art. You're going to get a little envelope. Well, I say little. It's, you know, five by seven, pack full you're going to get an envelope of art rather than a book because I can't afford $25 to send a comp book international. Yeah. Or any book for that matter. So you still, um, you're still invited. You're still invited to uh, participate in any um, giveaway if you're international, but I'm not going to uh, do that. So yeah. <clears throat> so you'll get art if you win. If you're an international person, that means anyone outside the United States, if you win one of my giveaways, you will get um, some art. Uh, that's, that's got, it's just, it, it's got redonkerous. Yeah. <laughs> it's got redonkerous. Okay. So I'm going to put this here. And I do need to get a, a baby wipe to keep the glue. <clears throat> just get the glue off the edges there. And uh, hi, Gail. Bye, Penny girl. I know that's just, it's just crazy. So anyway, um, and if you do get these pages wet, they will buckle. So even just right where I put that a uh, little bit of baby wipe, it, it it's, you know, a little bit of wrinkled around the edge. So just be aware, this is paper thin. I mean, it's copy paper thin. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so I just see, so just it's just whatever. It's just whatever you like. So I'm just gonna keep uh, gluing, and you know, this is just gonna be glue book inspiration book. And then, see, here's the thing, and this is what Colleen and I both do in these books. Now I could go in here with my pen and draw her legs. I could draw her legs. I could draw arms. I could draw skinny little legs with, and then I could put shoe. I could cut shoes out. You know. It's all about just having fun and inspiration in this book. It's all about inspiration, mixed media, glue book is what I called it. Okay, so let's just see here. Do I want to, well, I got this book here. Let's just see if there's something else that's really striking me right now. 
Oh, well, I guess I could put it under the camera, couldn't I? So, I mean, I love all the images and I love her doors. I have her, I have, I think three, three of her door books. And uh, I like this. I don't know that I like the bird on his head. Um, I put something else on his head. <laughs> but just to kind of show you some of Catherine's books here, this is this is the this is the only one that I don't have. Uh, and this the door ones are double sided. So like if there's a door here, the same doors on the back, so that you can open the doors and have the same door on the other side. This one is not that way. Um, I'm just looking for something that inspires me. No, no uh, you know, just cutting and gluing and chatting today. Yeah, Pamela, Pamela's in Sweden. <clears throat> Normally I watch your recordings and how long have you been coloring an adult color? Oh, uh, Katie, I don't know how long. How long have I been coloring in color books? Since they, since, uh, what do you call it? The her, What's her name? The first what, girl that started doing it? Um, uh, oh, what's her name? Hang on, I'll look on my shelf here. What is her name? Uh, what is her name, guys? The first girl that really got it going, popular. I don't. I can't find it right now. I don't want to take the time to dig through all my shelves. The first. It's been years, <clears throat> years and years. So, uh, yeah, I'm not exactly sure how many years. I've been streaming for nine years. I started on Ustream nine years ago, and then I started uploading five years, or maybe going on six now. Five or six years ago, I started uploading my Ustream videos to YouTube. And then when Ustream went away, well, they started charging exorbitant amount for just your everyday streamer. Um, I, I just started just doing live on YouTube for now about five or six years. Yeah, I'm not sure how long I've been doing color books. So um, I've been doing YouTube live now. For, you know, I don't know, a few years. I have about five or six years worth from Ustream and YouTube uploaded here. <clears throat> yeah, I don't remember, Jan. I couldn't even I couldn't even say 2013, maybe color books. I don't know. I do have a I do have playlists, guys. Um of my past five or six years here on YouTube, I have playlists. So I have a color book playlist. You can go in there and see how long. Um, my first ones, I think, um, were they that I did on, on YouTube? Were they Kirby ones? Kirby, Roseanne color books? Oh, you Googled it? Okay. So Janet said 2013. She Googled. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jen. And again, guys, when I'm gluing anything in um, in a book like this, I just use a glue a glue stick. Unless it's cardstock, if it's cardstock, I will use uh, I will use a uh, tacky glue. <laughs> I just find it, and again, guys, there's no rhyme or reason. It's just whatever strikes me, whatever I like, it's getting glued in. And then later, I can go in here and doodle on these. I can go in and doodle. I could draw a pond down here. I can do whatever, you know. But this is just, when when you don't feel like thinking, you don't feel like trying to make decisions on an art project, this is just a good way to be inspired. Just a good way to be inspired and do so I Kathy and do something creative without really, you know, don't really have to think about it. Just glue down stuff you like. <clears throat> and again, this is in the freestyle, really big notebook, 800 pages. We might fill 800. No, we won't fill 800 pages. <laughs> Let me move my camera over just a little. Let's see. Maybe I should. I was gonna say zoom in, but I think I think this is pretty good. 
<clears throat> oh, the book that she's cutting up. Oh, this book? Yeah, this one is Collage Imagery 2. <coughs> Catherine Anderson. Get them on Amazon. She Just go look up Catherine Amazon Collage Books. And uh, there's tons. She has door. I've got all her door ones. I think Colleen has all her doors, windows. She probably has all of them. Um. So I just I really like uh, I really like them. Like for right now, let's see what's on the back of this one. Okay, so I want this skull, but I'm gonna put horns. I think I'll put some colorful horns on this one. I don't know. I just pulled this book because I was sitting here just to show it to you, but I don't want to go. I don't want to use just that. I have, I have a bin right here next to me. It's the bin that goes to this lid, this lid right here. I pulled out, just pulled out some uh, stuff and threw it on the lid, but I have the whole bin next to me that goes, that goes to this, uh, goes to that lid. Um, you learn most of all. Oh, well, thank you, Lizbeth. That's nice. How long do you <laughs> 42, the answer 42, Ian, 42 is the answer to everything. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to cut this skull out, but I'm going to put some kind of different kind of horns. I mean, it's got one horn, but uh, cow, cow skull. Y'all know that... Uh, What's her name? Was a big painter of cow skulls out in New Mexico. What's her name? Yeah. Um, she lived to be like 90 something. George O'Keefe. George O'Keefe liked to paint these. I've seen uh, she, her exhibition came to our High Museum of Art in Atlanta a few years ago. We've seen a lot of awesome artists in. Uh, the Atlanta Museum. I try to either take a picture or a little video or something every time we go. We try to go. We try to go at least twice a year. Uh, we'll probably go again for my birthday. And see, this is this will be good. This kind of texture bit. This is good for um, my posters and things. But this is too small for me to keep. This is about my limit. <laughs> it has to be something I really think I'll use. Because otherwise, I mean, I've got, I've shown you how many bins of collage I have. Okay, so I like this, but I want some different. So let me just, uh, I don't know what it's going to be on there yet. So let's just glue it down. I do have a, I do have an Amazon order coming in today. I don't know if it'll be here before. I don't know if it'll be here before uh, my show ends today. Um, that was, uh, yeah, I thought I got a picture. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Julie Thomas, Joanna Basford. The first, she was really the first one that popular popularized adult color books and she's still around. She's, she just had that inky one come out, how to draw inky designs, you know? So she's, uh, she's still out there. She's still around. Okay. So let's just see. Let's see. I mean, I've got literally guys. Ugh. I got my bin right here next to me. I'm just kind of picking out handfuls of stuff. Picking out handfuls of um, fodder. And a lot of it on top here is my leftover Halloween stuff from my Poe book at Halloween. So a lot of that I've got to kind of dig past because I don't really want to do Halloween stuff since we did that at Halloween. Let's see. I've got some napkins in here. I've got tons of... Uh, Tons of these uh, rub-ons. And again, these are rub-ons are from um, Seven Gypsies. They discontinued them at Michael's. So I bought all the packs that they had. They're like normally were like seven, eight dollars, and they marked them down to a, what a dollar or two. So I bought a lot of them. This is what the packaging looks like. If you ever see them, this is what the packaging for those rub-ons looks, looks like this. And they're folded up neatly inside of this. <clears throat> oh, I like this. I like this typewriter. I'm going to put that on the next. Now, this is cardstock. Now, you can do a couple different things with cardstock. You can either peel it. 
you can either peel it. Let's see if I can peel this. Okay, so you can separate. Oh, this is a sticker. <laughs> this one's a sticker. I was going to say, though, with cardstock, you can peel off a layer. Same thing if you use any of your greeting cards, Christmas cards, birthday cards. If you use any cards in any of your collage work, if you don't want it thick, then, then separate, separate the... Um, what do you call it? The layers. Separate the layers of ca chipboard cardstock. Separate them and then it won't bulk up as much. Okay. Uh, I do like this sticker, uh, but I think I'm going to put this in my, I'm going to put this in my planner. I think I might put this in my planner. That might go in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And by planner, my planners are not, um, diary type planners <laughs> so I don't do those well uh-oh uh so I wanted to do some kind of fun horns here let's see what I can find let's see what I can get through here uh-oh no that wasn't too smart that just went everywhere oh but what is this I found a little Tim Holtz dog <laughs> and here's some little Tim Holtz people <laughs> Oh, and here's a butterfly. I kind of like that. Okay, we're going to roll with that. This one's not too thick. It's a little thicker than uh, paper, but I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to put the glue on the back of it. If you, another tip, I'm just telling y'all as I talk, you know, as I do this stuff, I just talk it all out. Don't, don't glue something down like this. Don't just throw glue on something like that and glue it down because it'll make your page on the back side lumpy you'll have that exact design in on the other side in a lump so what you want to do is smooth it all out edge to edge get rid of all those lumps so when you glue it down it might still be a little wrinkled on the back side but you won't have lines of lumps just saying you won't have lines of lumps <clears throat> Okay, now these little people aren't going to make it, but the little dog is. And again, he's a little card, kind of a thicker card stock. So he's going to get uh, tacky glued instead of just uh, a glue stick. Okay. There we go. <laughs> you want a better way to store your color? Oh, gosh. I've tried Miss Mary Berry. I have tried so many different ways to store my collage fodder. I tried separating it in different drawers, different bins, different trays, flipping it, boxes, flips, drawer, everything. And for me, I throw, I, I finally dumped them all in bins in these big, the, the bins that are this size. This is just the lid for the plastic bin. I have bins like this full of collage fodder that I just throw it all in. I just throw it on. He like that. See, it's just whatever comes to you, you know. It, it, and then just move on. You know, maybe later I'll think about a story to go with that. But right now, I'm just, you know, I'm just gonna keep keep moving on. And I'm just digging through, seeing whatever I. Now, here is one thing I won't use. I won't use dimensional stuff. Th this, uh, because when in a book like this, I'm going back and forth, back and forth, front to back. I might be doodling on one day, gluing on another day. And if I have these bumpy, bumpy uh, ephemera, bumpy, you know, whatever stuff on one page, and then you go to write on the other. You go to write on it. There's a bump there. You know, you can, you'll be writing on a bump. So I would recommend in any kind of book like this is not put any um, anything that's dimensional. I mean, these this is a little bit dimensional. And if I wrote wrote on back here, I could probably get a bump, a little bit of a lump there for that. But you don't want to put a bunch of three dimensional items because you will. Um, definitely be uh here's here's another timmy timmy guy i don't want too many of the same thing i want a lot of all different kind of things <clears throat> but i do have a lot of timmy people and then uh some of these i still have a couple of these i send a bunch of these to gene uh these old um does anybody remember these who has ever had any of these 
work basket. I sent up, this one's 1964. I sent a bunch of these to Jean. Because <laughs> the knitting, old knitting and crocheting ones, because I knew she would use them. But uh, this kind of stuff is just fun to look at the ads. Um, an automatic needle threader. Uh, yarn sample card. And of course, all the old clothes and patterns in that. I store my collage materials in file folders. Well, I tried that too, Lizbeth, but it got way too many. I tried file folders and 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 fought in different, you know, like this, you know, putting flowers and you know, dividing it all up like that. But here's what here's what I found for myself. I found for myself that I was not going like I my mind wasn't working that way when I did collage. My mind didn't go, oh, and now once in a while, like my uh my watches, I do like the element of time in my in my work. So I do um I do keep these uh at least a batch of watches and clocks. I keep those kind of in a magazine or somewhere where I know where some are, because I always use them. But for the most part, I don't I don't plan out, go, oh, I need a daffodil, a yellow daffodil today. I don't think like that when I'm working. So having, and then having to go and dig it out. Then I've got to go to, uh, what, 50 uh, file folders full of flowers and go, okay, hmm, let's see, yellow daffodil, yellow daffodil. I, 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 I won't. I just don't. And I wouldn't. And I, and I know myself. I just know myself. I don't work like that. And so I tried to organize. I mean, I spent at weeks sometimes, you know, over the years doing, um, trying to organize them all. Oh, look at this one. This one's on trends. Um, and I wasn't using them. I wasn't going to the drawers. I found what I was going for was where I had a pile, where I had a pile of stuff. And this is where I would go. I'd go to this. This is what, and I dig through this. Kind of like I'm doing now, digging through. And I, I think I want I want some of this bit right here. And that's how I, I found that I was using my collage fodder. I wasn't looking for a specific one item thing. You know? And so it wasn't it wasn't working for me. <laughs> oh, here's some of my doors. This is from the door. Uh, this is from one of uh, Catherine Anderson's door books. Deconstructed because I'll use it more if I take everything apart. If I take the books apart, I'm more apt to you know get in here and use it than I would if it's in a book and I have to carefully rip it out or I'm afraid to use it. Mm, yeah, yeah. Don't want to do that. Um, same thing for same thing for like these kind of books. Uh, these are like wrapping paper books. Wrapping paper books. And the same thing we've done shows here in a while, but how to use your color book images. If you have color books that you have cut up, you can cut those images out and use them in your collage. I never use my collage bits when things are too fussy. Yeah, for me, the bins work. But a lot of people like, I know Packer Dye, for a while, and I don't know if she still does it, she would organize her collage fodder by color. Everything red in a bin, in a drawer, everything blue, everything green. It had its own drawer because she worked she works or did. I don't know if she still does. This is some years ago. She did everything by color. Mary says, um, what did she say here? I can't keep up with filing those. Yeah. Yeah. See, I can't keep up with filing things either. I just want to find something that attracts me, that I like, that I want to... Uh, that I want to use. So this little kid, this half, you know, I used, I used some of this paper here for um, some planets last week. And I just saw this. I saw this guy. I, I kind of like this. 
you know, I just, I like it. So I'm just going to use that. Okay, so I'm, uh, he's a little thicker, so I'll use tacky glue with him. This is a calendar page, so I'm just going to uh, use my glue stick on that. Now, another thing about using uh, glue sticks, and, and especially something that's kind of big like this, usually if it's something little, I'll just stick it on the glue stick and do that. If you have old phone books, which I think I threw most of mine away, I might have one around here somewhere, or an old magazine, catalogs, things you get in the mail. Um, they're perfect for using as a glue base. Like, like instead of gluing it on here, instead of putting getting glue on here, throw this on a, a phone book and glue it. You don't have to worry about carefully not getting it on the edges. And then you can uh, flip the page in the phone book and move on to another page and uh, do use it that way. And I did get some glue over here. So let's wipe that off with the baby. Keep baby wipes handy too. Okay. So I like that. Now with him, because he's cardstock, I'm going to put tacky glue. So this is what we're going to do all day today, guys. <laughs> it's stormy day, rainy day. It's a gluey day. So I did title it Inspiration Mixed Media Glue Book, but you can call it whatever. You can call your uh, you can call your books the Society of Idea Collector, you know, whatever you want. You <laughs> Miss Mary Berry said in an ideal scenario, she would have her assistant do your filing. But then would your assistant go dig it out for you when you want it? <laughs> Uh, you know, <laughs> did I miss some questions? I'm sorry, guys. I, let me go back. DD crafts like an archaeologist. <laughs> yes, exactly. Tall, handsome girl. Exactly. Um, oh, what does the text on my ring says? It is Hebrew. It's from the book of Ruth. Where you go, I will follow. That's what it says in Hebrew. Okay, um, this is my uh, secondary ring. I have a wedding ring set, a, um, a, a gold band and a diamond engagement ring. But um, over the years, 40 years of wearing it, <laughs> my fingers have got, and I know they're not fat or nothing. My fingers aren't fat, but they've uh, expanded. I have to get those rings. And I, I took, it's been a couple of years. And I just need to take it to a jeweler and put them on, you know, they put the rings on one of those tubes and they tap it down and, and make the ring grow. I just need to make my rings bigger. Uh, uh, I need to make my uh, wedding rings bigger and I just haven't. Hubster, they're in Hubster's drawer, um, jewelry box. We <laughs> just need to get over to the jeweler. We live in the, you know, I, I guess I could take it over to JCPenney or something like that and have them do it. But um, so you can speak Hebrew, Abigail. I was teaching myself Hebrew. I did. I have hand carved the Hebrew alphabet. I know how to write the Hebrew alphabet uh, or the letter letter forms. But it's been a while since I've done it. But uh, I have did. I do calligraphy in Hebrew. Um, not anything. Not like a Jewish scribe or anything like that. Don't get me wrong. But I've hand carved all the Hebrew alphabet uh, and studied it some. And um, but anyway, yeah. What's your favorite book of the Bible? Aww. So um, yeah, born and raised in Israel, married a Dutchman, and live in the Netherlands. Oh, well, good. Good to have you here, Abigail. Yeah, welcome. I'm sure you speak fluent Hebrew then. Um, yeah, let me see. I don't know if I've got my, to put my hands right on, on this rabbit trail. Let's see here. I think they're in one of, I think they're in this, these, these are some of my hand carved stamps. Yeah, here we go. So you have hand carved, hand carved them all. Um, 
these are just little erasers, the little magic rub erasers. And I mark them what they are. Like this is, you know, the 27th letter. You know, I mark them so I wouldn't get them wrong. <laughs> so, yeah, I have those. I have, um, these are just different ones I've carved. And then I also have a set that I bought. This is an old set. Yeah, I have this old set. Um, I bought these. Um, they're tinier. Yeah. So, yeah. But anyway. Oh, here's another. This is another set here. This is another bot set. But I carved my own. Anyway, there's that rabbit trail. Okay. So, there we go. There's another page. Yeah, it's handy. Yeah. Yeah. And they're fun to carve. I like to carve stamps. Um, this is the one I've been using. And I should probably stamp it in this book. Where did I put it here? This is my little owl. I should probably, I try to put something of, let's just put it here in the front. I like my owl. And if you ever stamp something and it and it doesn't come out as dark as you like, or and this may go through, this may go through. I'm not, I don't know. It may go through. This uh, stays on ink, but if it doesn't ever uh, stamp perfectly, then you can always just take a sharpie pen, take a sharpie pen, and go in there and uh, and correct it. Oh, that turned out pretty good. So I've been using that. And then if I want to, here's my Sharpie pen. There we go. And I can put a little, little branch in there later. All right, let's see if it went through. Yeah, see, it's ghosting. It didn't go all the way through, but it ghosted. So... Uh, oh, Co Colleen, is, is there a fake Colleen? What? Oh, God, why don't these people go get, go do something creative. Okay, so, you know, let's make sure there's no excess glue anywhere on that. All right, moving on, see what else I can find that I like. This is just gluing in whatever I like, inspiration, and again, what Colleen and I have done in this book, oh, 2015, is we would take um, we would take these and then doodle on them. Let's see. Let's uh, let's make this a got a little dark. I know the light's changing outside, but it got a little dark with the white page. So let's brighten this back up a little. There we go. All right. Uh You mean somebody somebody uh, mirrored somebody mirrored your channel, Colleen? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, you need to report it. You need to report it. I had somebody mirror hundreds of my videos once. It's not it's not easy for them to do that anymore because of the new rules, the new rules in YouTube. That's one of the that was one of the benefits when they went to. Um, being more restrictive on who could monetize their channels and stuff. When they started having, you had to have, and I don't even remember the rules now, had to have a thousand followers and you had to have so many hours. You had to have so many hours of content before you could monetize your channel. See, now those trolls are doing that and they're not going to get any money off of it because of the new rules. So when they mirror or steal your content, they don't have their thousand followers and they don't have their however many hundreds of hours, they can't monetize it. So they're like wasting their time. <laughs> ah, I see. Yeah, report it. I would definitely just report it. They'll get back with you, Colleen. Yeah, report it. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. Um, and I do have these. I don't use these as much as I did when I was making ATCs. Oh, and I was saving these for a, just a big glue thing, but eh, I'm going to throw that away. No, I won't use that. I have not had an idea for it, but it's it's like on the bottom of the list. 
So the Tim Holtz ideology words uh, and, and little sayings, I used to use these more when uh, we did ATC swaps because it was, um, it was uh, you know, little words that were small enough to use on an artist trading card size. I haven't used them lately, but I probably should because I have them. All right, let's see what else. Oh, another thing is that you can take your, let's take a magazine and a calendar. And again, you know, if you want, usually when I take a magazine, like for instance, when I'm doing a collage poster or using collage fodder in my Abandoned Places books or making a poster, most of the time, I'm not going to like use this image. What I would do is I would use like this. like this, or it could be lightning in, in the sky. Do you see what I'm saying? I'm using it as something else. Like this could be lightning. It could be hills. This is a bigger image that I would use on a bigger poster. I'm just kind of showing y'all some of the things. Um, oh, thanks, Nancy. Thanks for stopping in. Yeah, those Tim's words are perfect for ATCs. Um, so, you know, something like this can be used as, um, in the posters. I don't, I don't really want to get out on my posters right now. I showed them, I showed a few of them last week, uh, but that's how I use this kind of stuff. Same thing for something like this, you know, the textures and things like that. Um, but if you just want to glue something, glue in your glue book and you just like, um, you know, just like a little something, something. You know, it's just it's just for your own glue book. You're not, you know, you're not selling it. But anyway, I just want to show you that like this right here. This this kind of looks like a it's a brick wall, but it looks like a it looks like it reminds me of a Rubik's cube. Um, same thing for let's find a calendar or something. Oh well, you already saw me use some of this calendar, Tiffany glass calendar that I used on that uh, little boy. Uh, so you could use stuff like that. Uh, what else? I'm trying to, okay, stickers, same thing for stickers. Let's see here. I got my space stickers. I don't use these very often, but this is a kind of book that's kind of fun to use something like this in just for inspiration. Getting ready for, hi, Melinda. Don't forget, guys, if you talk to me, put it in caps. So I see it, and I'm not ignoring anybody if I miss it. So this is like a sticker book, kids' sticker book that has like a shiny page where you can take, you know, your stickers and put them on, put them on the page, and it's slick, so you can take it and peel them up and move them around. But I just like every now and then one of these planets in my work, you know. Um, here's a little nebula. It's just you know, if I just like this. You know, if you just come across a sticker you like, I don't know why this one's not wanting to peel off. Let's, did I get it wet or something? I might have. Might have got it wet. And that's why it's not sticking. Okay, well, we'll just glue stick it. Um, you know, just a, a little inspiration or just something you come across. You come across these stickers, you know, just to, it's just a place to glue stuff down. Okay, that's not going to work because it's half sticky and half not. Okay. Let's add a little extra right there on the edge. Whoops. <clears throat> so, you know, you can use your stickers. I like these little, I've used one of these little astronauts in something. Um, oh, that piece that we did a couple weeks ago. I used a little astronaut. Let's just put a little astronaut up there. <laughs> Anyway, so there's that. I'm trying to think of all different kind of things you can use in your glue book. <clears throat> of course, any kind of color book thing you can use. I've got these, these kind of things that I like to use uh, sometimes just in my journals and stuff. Um, <clears throat> little books like this. Or you can tear out little sayings, little sayings like this. You can glue these in here. Replace fear of the unknown with curiosity. So I, I like that. I like that little uh, saying. So let's trim it down. <clears throat> and 
And you can just collect things that inspire you. It doesn't have to be something. Not everything you make has to be has to be a, a finished art project. You know, inspire yourself. Inspire yourself with uh, fun stuff. So it just keeps you curious. It keeps you... Um, motivated okay so one thing about these stickers though i don't really like a lot of white edge i, don't, I mean i don't mind a little bit some of them are a little have a little bit more white edge than i like so sometimes i trim trim my stickers a little so this is just a little show today to inspire you on a rainy stormy day. <laughs> Hi, Faithfulness. Hi, let's see, Ray, who else am I missing? I'm sure I'm missing people coming in. It's the cool sticker book now? Yeah. All right. Um. So what else? So there's that. Let's just keep moving. And this, pet, the book looks a little, I mean, the my camera looks weird because, I mean, we're at this big of an angle. I guess I could prop that up with something, but meh. All right. Uh, let's dig around. Let's dig around in my box here and see what else I have. Let's just take a handful of stuff out and see what comes up, shall we? Let's just take a handful of stuff and see what comes out. A lot of watches in that one, I see. All right. Let's just go through this. I have this tray here, the lid the lid to the box I'm digging out of. Um, oh, do y'all remember these? Look, I still have a couple of these acetate pages. Remember these? I still have the uh, spinner. It's an ATC spinner rack, and these fit in that ten, uh, Seven Gypsies. It was a Seven Gypsies spinner rack. Snowing there. Heidi, snowing. Um. Uh, Abigail, when the mods see it, they will they will uh, delete it. They'll delete it if that if uh, yeah. Okay, so here's some leftover. Um, this was from the what do you call it uh, the Poe book Poe book. Yeah, there's trolls, people. You just gotta ignore the trolls. Realize that you know kids are out of school, or there's just a bunch of you know creepy people that just like to cause trouble. You, they're gonna be there. They're gonna be there. So you just gotta ignore them. Don't give them. Don't give them uh, attention. Uh, snow apocalypse in Seattle right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, we had uh, we had tornado warnings and thunderstorm warnings for the last couple days. Look at this old, this is a faux uh, library card, but I like it. I think I'll use that. Um, some of this is old scrapbook stuff. Uh, I like one of these date location activity cards. There's a tag. Um, oh, look at this little bunny eating ice cream. I don't know what that's from. Uh, here's a little cowboy. I like that. I think I'm going to go with that. This is one of my old ATC cards shrunk down. Uh, marbles. I like marbles for planets. Here's a faux ephemera. Some more faux ephemera. I like this seahorse. I like this little bird. I'm just picking here. Picking things out. I like that piece of watch. Marbles. Marbles are always good for planets. Another marble. Some more of that faux ephemera stuff. I've got a glare right there. <clears throat> thought I had my... Yeah, that's we're in the south. That's you know, that's that happens down here. Look at some of this uh old faux ephemera stuff. Golden West coffee. Start your morning with a kick. Standard grind. <laughs> 
it's an old camera i like this oh, flash cards oh i like those two little girls I like that i'm just picking through here guys little tickets little advertisements uh, i'm just looking for something that's really speaking to me you know i do that just whatever you feel like gluing this is a little um uh, chart of the english language not sure that's kind of cool i'll have to look at it later okay so yeah bingo i don't want to get too much faux femora thing going but i do like some faux femora i do like me a faux femora here and there Mustache, mustachios. Maybe I'll put that on one of those little girls. <laughs> oh, look, little robots. Cut these out. I did a some kind of a robot theme here a while back. These are some little robots. I think these are out of a. These are out of a uh, toy, vintage toy catalog. Oh, here's another one. Oh, here's another one. Here's another one. Got lots of little robots. All kinds of catalogs, you know. I don't know. When, when y'all were a kid, did you ever get out any of the, like, the Sears catalogs and cut out all the little people and, and dress them? Like, your, make your own little paper dolls? Who here made their own paper dolls out of catalogs? Raise your hand. <laughs> uh, anybody? Okay, bye. I was pretending to be Cassie. Oh, okay, Cassie. Bye. Okay, thanks, Cassie. You used to cut them out, Miss Mary. Uh, Tindaloo did. Joan did. Melinda said my mom cut those kind of paper dolls out with me. Yeah, I think my mom did too. Mom always liked to cut things out. She did like to do that. I got a bunch of these little robots. I'm going to do something with them. <laughs> these are those little, um, the, you used to be able to buy these bags of quotes from uh, K and Company, I think. K and Company used to have these little quotes that you could buy. I made apartment complexes using shoeboxes. Stat. Oh my gosh. Really, sister? Oh my gosh. That is hilarious. <laughs> we, well, I remember having to do those um, dioramas, dioramas for school projects. Teachers were big on those dioramas. You had to make, you know, usually it had to do with something like dinosaurs. And I, I need to prop this up because there's a glare there. Art box here. Let's get this art. And this is a box of uh, postcards, art, art from like the museum kind of thing. All right, let's prop this up so it's the same height as this page because that's what's causing the glare. <clears throat> oh, I wanted to save that just to look at. Here's another cool watch. I like that. And, uh, and y'all, and I cut all these out because I think I was using these for robot heads or robot bodies. These are those insulators, those uh, glass insulators. I was using these as robot bodies on something. Let's see what else? Oh, here's another one. Look at all these little insulators. I like this little star too, although it's a little dimensional. I do like that star. Just make little fun little things. It's fun to watch you do. <laughs> chill. It's a chill day. The, the weather's yucky. I can't do my walks. That's going to irritate me. <laughs> I'll have to. I mean, I can get a little bit on the uh, elliptical, but I can't do a mile. I can't do a mile on an elliptical. Like I can walk a mile. But, uh, let's see. Just some little words. Look at the little shoes. Old typewriter. I like that old typewriter. Cool that. 
just all kinds of little faux ephemera. A lot of this stuff, guys, goes back. A lot of this goes back to when, um, you know, scrapbooking days. You collect it. You accumulate. You accumulate a lot of this stuff, especially if you were the kind of scrapbooker that did um, very eclectic scrapbooking like I did. Lots of lots of junk. <laughs> A lot of junk on my scrapbook pages and I never was one to care about oh is that uh is that what do you call it uh acid free is that gonna hold up no, I'm, I wasn't one of those so my 25 three ring binders may not last forever <laughs> it's so funny too because none of the none of my family wants any um hard cover scrapbooks but when the kids came over when boo and cam came over um it's probably about a year ago i guess oh look it reminds me of bdi beth if y'all don't follow bdi beth go on her instagram and see the kind of jewelry she makes she makes beautiful rings out of um she makes uh, beautiful rings out of look here's where i was making a robot out of an insulator <laughs> um she makes beautiful rings out of like subway tokens and coins and things Y'all follow, y'all follow our beady I bet. Oh, there's another one of the little stars. Kind of like that one better than the silver. No. Wandering, wandering star. There's a glittery heart. Okay. Let's uh let's glue these down. Again, he's a card stock, so I want to do him with uh tacky glue, but these thinner things, these thinner things. Yeah, I think Colleen's going to, I, I hope she's reported it by now. Someone did something to her channel. So make sure y'all, yeah, she'll, she'll, you know, just know it's not Colleen. I mean, I think we know that. Hi, Colleen. Yeah, well, she'll report it, guys. All right, so again, if you put if you put tacky glue on the back of a piece of you know heavier paper cardstock, make sure and flatten that out so you don't have lumps on the the back side of the page. So I just kind of wanted to do that. And I think. We're just gluing today, Eileen, if you're here. It's a stormy day. How's it down in Boca Raton? How y'all doing down there? Did y'all get any? Is that way too far south? For the storms to get to you. Oops. Gloomy, Raquel said, gloomy. Yeah, not acid-free, yeah, in my scrapbooks. Oh, but anyway, so when they came and they were looking at, you know what they did? They looked at all my scrap, I didn't get this leg right here. They looked through all my uh, scrapbooks, big, I'm talking three-inch binder, 12 by 12, big page scrapbook. And they looked through them and they, they took pictures of my layouts and put them on Snapchat. So they were Snapchatting <laughs> their layouts for when they were little. Oh my gosh. It was so funny. This make you want to do some glue. I know, right, Gaga? It'll make you want to glue. I'm telling you. It's just so, it's just chill. It's just chill. And I do like my little robots and my little, um, insulators that I started turning into robots. See, I already fussy cut these out for another project. I might use a couple of them, but I want them with something else. Like here, this watch right here. <laughs> uh, going on field trip. Oh, have fun, Crystal. Where are y'all going? Do you want to say where are you going on your field trip? 
I remember those days. I remember field trip days. <laughs> you like the robots? Uh, it is fun, Donna. It's very chill. It's a very chill day. We've had storms here for a couple of days. Thunder and lightning and storm, you know, th uh, warnings. And it's like, let's just chill today. Just chill. So I like this. Which one of these? Let's see. I like this. And I'm not in no particular thing, guys. I, I'm not really... I'm just kind of, you know, messing around here. What I like. I kind of like that guy there. Oh, I like this one. This one looks like uh, uh, from the, uh, what's the name of the movie? What's the name of the movie? Uh, Robbie. Is Robbie the robot? The puffy one? Not not lost in space one. The other one. Anyway, that's that one kind of looks like him. <clears throat> and then again, guys, you can doodle on these. You know, this is just like a, just to get an inspiration started. Hi, Amy. We know you would not say anything like that, Colleen. Uh, we know that. Yeah, we just all we can do is uh, all we can do is what do you call it? Block the trolls. Kick and block. Forbidden planet. Thank you, Tindaloo. Forbidden plan. Oh, I guess I should have glued this one first. <laughs> There's a lump there. And Colleen and um, Kathy Berg stream together on Tuesdays and Fridays. Tuesdays and Fridays. Is that right, Colleen? I just like that little guy there. Maybe a little heart. It's a little cheesy. A little cheesy, but I'm gonna throw I'm gonna throw that heart on there. <laughs> and again, I wanna use this is a little thicker, so I'm gonna use uh, tacky glue, although I'm pretty sure that the glue stick would work too, but I'm gonna throw that on there. Just because I like it because it's red. I could have put it right there on his body. Oh, well. You know, like like the cowardly lion. If he only had a heart. No, that was a tin man. Which one wanted a heart? <laughs> uh, <laughs> just something. I just like it, you know. And he could be standing on something else, you know. It, this, it's just You can do whatever you want. It's just whatever you want. Again, some of these little pieces, if you have a book, like a phone book or an old magazine to glue on, then you lay this down on the magazine, and then you can glue edge to edge and not have to worry about, because then you just turn the page, you just turn the page and uh, you don't have to worry about getting glue on the edges. Hi, Shelly. Yes, Tuesday and Fridays at 10 Eastern. Okay, so Kathy... Which one do y'all, one's on Colleen's and then one's on Kathy's, but follow Colleen and follow Kathy Bird. And they stream at 10 Eastern on Tuesdays and, did I say Thursday or is it Friday? Where is it? Friday. Yeah. Tuesdays and Fridays, 10 a.m. Eastern. And just play in here. Let's see. I kind of want a red one. Did I have a red insulate? There's a kind of an orange one. Did I have a red one? I had a whole stack of them in my hand. I don't know where I threw them down. There's a yellow one. I want the one with the eyes that I drew on it. There's all those insulators that I just had. Mm. Well, I don't really want to dig. I know I put some out. I 
guess it'll have to be the blue one because I don't have a red one that I have right here. But I was thinking about doing that and then these mustaches. I like that. And I'll save that for another one because I want to put a mustache on one of these insulators. <laughs> Where do I get my everywhere, Donna? Everywhere. Some is faux femora, some is magazine, some is from calendars, posters that you, you know, buy old posters, old books. Uh, and then some are like in Katherine Anderson sells collage fodder, like this one, um, the, the book, I mean, the door book. A lot of it's old scrapbooking stuff. Um, I think these little, these, uh, little robots, these were from a vintage toy calendar. I mean, uh, a catalog, a vintage toy catalog. Um, I mean, a catalog that sold vintage, you know, where to, how much, uh, vintage toys are worth that kind of thing. I'm not sure about that green. I think I'll just get one of my little planets out of my space book. I'm just, I'm not even thinking about this, guys. I'm just trying to just play, you know? I kind of like that, but smaller. Here we go. This, no, maybe this one. See, I got I got a couple of these pages wet, so now the they're not coming off the the sticker backing because I got the pages wet. You don't want to get your sticker pages wet. <laughs> um. Yeah. So again, if you're just joining us, this is my freestyle really big notebook. It does not come with the butterfly. I just glued that on. It's 800 pages of essentially copy paper. Get it on Amazon. And I'm using mine for a glue inking doodling book, you know, whatever. Uh, getting a planet out of my... <laughs> yes, I said, I'm going to get a planet out of my space book. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then you can just do other things. You can do, you know, like, uh, let's just say, let me, uh, let's see here. Let's just use this. You can do, you know, watch hands coming off here. So let's go over that one a little more. Then you can start doodling and playing with your pages. And, and ideas, if, if you come up with a storyline, we'll start writing it here. Start writing, doodling, notations, ideas. It's This is just a, I'm calling it an inspiration mixed media glue book because I'm gluing things in. But, you know, write notes, whatever, whatever you want. Whatever you want. I'm just, I just pulled some odd things here. Out of my big, my big uh, fodder. My big fodder. Oh, let's see. Oops. Um, you could use, okay, here's some of my, these are some of my uh, hand-carved rabbits. You know, we love our rabbit trails. <laughs> or I could get out my stamp and just stamp them because I do, uh, uh, but I'm not sure where the stamp is right this minute, but my rabbit trails. <laughs> I need to get a space book. It looks like <laughs> it's just whatever you like. You know, it has to be stuff you like. I like space, science fiction. I like abandoned places. You know, I like a lot of things over all the years of, you know, and um, you just, it has to be stuff you like. Don't do it because somebody else is doing it. You, you know, like, that's why I say, if you ever want to do an altered book, I like abandoned places books. If you don't like abandoned places, don't get an abandoned places book. Get another kind of book to alter. Something you like. Gardens, travel, some world, some place in the world that you like, a city, uh, you know, get something you like. Don't uh, 
don't just be doing it because everybody else is, oh, I don't want to abandon. I mean, if, if you like it, that's fine. But because I'll tell you, if you don't, if you don't like it, you're not going to stick with it. You're not going to stick with it if you don't like it. <clears throat> I think I'll go with this one. <clears throat> I said I wasn't going to glue anything on the back side, but in this case, I'm going to because I had a little little idea here. So this is going to go up here. Oh, thanks, Carla. Yeah, thanks, guys, for the thumbs up. Again, guys, it's a chill day. It's a rainy, chill day. Um, you can put the, this these ideas, whether you actually make one of these books or not. You can do a, um, you can do a, what do you call it? Uh, put this in your society of idea collectors. Put it in your society of idea collectors uh, notebook. You know, I use three ring binders for that. Or you can make something like this into one. I think I'll just throw this door open. I'll just cut that off. So just whatever. Don't, you know, don't. Sometimes when you don't overthink things, then you'll get more ideas. You don't, you know, don't overthink it. Because then, again, guys, you can, you can, don't have to, you can, if you're doing this yourself, uh, stop, stop and do, um, Write notes if you have a story idea or, you know, some other kind of inspiration idea. Then go ahead. Just a little bit. It's got a little glare. Um, you know, just write with a Sharpie pen. Well, you can write with whatever you want, but if you don't want it to go through, write with a Sharpie pen and, uh, you know, write, write storylines or ideas down. You know, ask your questions, who, what, where, when, why, how, make some mind maps, uh, whatever you want to do. You like the door? Yeah, the door is from Katherine Anderson's book of doors. All right, so I'm just going to use these little, um, my rabbit, hand carved rabbit stamp here that I've stamped a bunch of times. I just happened to, they were just sitting there. So they're going to go. So yeah, y'all share some of the things that y'all um, like. What do you do for inspiration? I mean, I know we all watch videos. Other than watching videos of our favorite people, which I have my favorites and I get inspiration from other people too. But other than that, what do you? Um, where do you get your inspiration? What or what inspires you? I shouldn't say where do you get your inspiration. What inspires you? Other than YouTube videos. Let's do something other than videos. What else inspires you? Carved, yes, I have tons of carved stamps. I haven't done them for a while. Mary, if y'all like to watch carved stamps, Mary's been doing some fairly recently within the last few months. I don't know if she's done some in the last few weeks, but I know if y'all follow Mary, she'll carve, she'll, she'll carve you a stamp like that. <laughs> Follow Mary. She's still here. Follow Mary. And uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, did someone steal your identity too, Abigail? Someone said Abigail. If you talk to me, Abigail, people, people talk to me in caps. 
Abigail. If you want me to see what you're saying, then people do talk to me in caps. Uh, if the troll is back, I would go log out and log back in. Or somebody, if is it your picture, Abigail, too? Or is it just uh, someone using your same name? I don't know what to do except to tell you to go log out and come back in. Or we can kick out all everybody with your name. Do you want us to kick you out, Abigail? You're going to have to go report it. I don't think there's anything we can do about that here. We can kick we can kick you out for a while, just like uh, we can kick you out for like time you out. Not kick you out, but time you out, Abigail. I don't know what else to do. Okay, so um, guys, let's, uh, yeah, time out all of Abigail's uh, comments. Hers, and we don't know which is which. So just time her out. And um, yeah. School must be out today. School must be out. All right, so there we go. That's that page there. All right, I, I did have another little star sitting there. I could put the little star. I don't know that we can do anything else. You know, <clears throat> thanks, thanks, mods. I know, Ray. Just keep kicking them out. That's all we can do. Uh, if you know, you know, if you know for sure it's a troll, then just you can report them as well. All right, so Mary said books inspire her. Books inspire Mary. Mm -mm. Do I want this one or do I think I want this one? I think I'll go with this one. I'm just picking up stuff, guys, that are, you know, that's laying down here in my pile of uh, fodder. Hi, Mary. Uh, and Mary Altier says, magazines inspire, library days. Yeah, I know. We were going to go to the library, um, you know, what the library, not our library, but one that's down south of us has that, where, where I filmed that day. They have the library sale room. And uh, we're going to go this weekend, but the weather was so bad. A day out and about inspires you. Yeah, Mary, you used to used to do what? Uh, do you still do it at all, Mary? You're uh, sketching from your car. Sketching from your car, Mary. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Do you ever do those anymore? I don't mean, I'm not slamming you if you don't. I'm just, just curious if you do. What did Eileen say? And hi, Eileen, by the way. Did I miss you coming in? Okay, Joe, Joe DeFee. And Joe DeFee says flicking through stacks of pattern paper. Uh, Joe DeFee also has, she does uh, uh, junk journals. Awesome junk journals. Y'all need to follow Joe DeFee. And I don't know if I'm saying that right. But you need to follow her because she does have uh, awesome. She does have awesome uh, junk journals. Where am I? Where's Eileen? I'm not seeing Eileen. Oh, there she is. Hi, Judy. She said photos of architecture and natural settings. Well, you know, put this in your Society of Idea Collector, guys. Your idea Society of Idea collector journal whatever journal you use we all use different things some use travelers some use comp books i like three ring binders well i like travelers too but three ring binders uh whatever it is and write down write down your um your ideas in there or if somebody says something here or if you're at anybody you always should have handy Either like me, it's post-it notes. Have something handy 
Uh, I need another baby wipe to get the glue off my hands. Um, to write down ideas as they come to you as you're watching other shows or t TV, YouTube, whatever it is you're watching or listening to, you need to have something handy to write your ideas down. Oh, Eileen said, Amazon on the buy button. <laughs> I do have something coming today. I'll show it if it gets here before um, before my stream's over. <laughs> uh, and again, if you're just joining us, I'm working out of the, this is the Productive Ludite, um, is the company that puts these out, freestyle, really big notebooks. Get them on Amazon. This is the 800-page one. It's two inches thick. The paper is copy paper. It's very thin. It's just like, you know, it's good for note taking, idea collecting, gluing, you know, just some stuff like this. Let's see. Pearl. Hi, Pearl. Tammy. And who else? Um, Jody says um, that she writes down notes in Google Keep. Okay, there you go. See, that's like my daughter. She does everything on her phone. She would write uh, all her notes in her phone, too. <clears throat> so, you know, whatever works for you. Collect your ideas somewhere because you'll lose them. You will lose them if you don't. Mary Tao says poetry and song lyrics. Uh, Donna Tina says, oh, <laughs> well, we're trying to say with other than, but thank you. I'm glad I inspire you. But other than uh, your YouTube channel, that you know, YouTube people that you know, uh, other than that, what other things inspire you, you know? So I'm just I'm just going through it. And again, guys, this is going to get fluffy. Um, you know, as you you know, uh, you might want to have to take your um, bone folder or something and, you know, get things smashed down because it will. And you'll probably have to uh, break the spine, bend the spine to get it to lie flat. OK, so lovely Melia says thrift store shopping and organizing your craft. Organizing does uh, inspire me as well. Organizing does inspire me. Um, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Pacola. Pacola, my girls, they're, they're, they got those boots on the quick. It's like snapping turtles. You know, oh, wait, I saw something. Where was it? It was in this one. It wasn't the snapping turtles. You know what? Now I'm inspired. I'm inspired for something. I saw it in my um, uh, Catherine Anderson book here. Hang on. Where was it? I hear my babies out there wanting in the room, but and let's see. Let's flip through. Where is it? Where did I see it? Where did I see it? I'm sure it was in here. I thought it was toward the front. Hang on. I thought it was in here a little while ago. Oh, I love that shell too. There they are. Okay. Oh, I like that angel though too. Let's see if I can do one turtle. No, I'm going to lose the angel. But I need that turtle. Let's see if I can keep some of the angel maybe. And you know what? No, I can't do both. Okay. I have to have to do a different do this a different way. Okay, so here is one of my now if I could find some combat boots. <laughs> this is my mods. My mods are snapping turtles with combat boots. <laughs> Look, there's Carla. Yeah, Carla, there you go. Carla put in a bunch of turtles. <laughs> <laughs> I will have to make this my uh, mod page. Uh, I won't do it all today, but as as I as things I find things, I can go back and add them. <laughs> I had some combat boots. <laughs> uh, and I'm gonna make them kind of like this one, kind of like uh, what's the Japanese uh, turtle one? It's not Mothra. What's the Japanese turtle? Ga, uh, ga, starts with a G, I think. What is that one? The Japanese, like not Godzilla, not Mothra. There's a turtle one. <laughs> uh, 
Hi, Ray. Uh, Gail, Cheryl. <laughs> Snapping turtles. Hi, Shauna. Yeah, that's my mods. Snapping turtles. They need uh they need some they need some combat boots, but for now. It just occurred to me to do a snapping turtle. Okay, let's see. What else do we have? We're just doing a... <laughs> Where's those mustaches? Oh, my gosh. What do I do with those mustaches? Uh-oh, I tore it. <laughs> it's supposed to be a sticker. I thought it was a sticker. Maybe not. Okay. Uh, okay. I'll have to... Let's just put them down here. Let's put a little bit of glue. Oh, I should use glue stick. Okay. Let's just do let's smooth that out here. Put a little glue. Just a little bit of glue. <laughs> Gamera, yeah, Gamera. My mods are like Gamera. <laughs> Gonna have to write that on here. Hang on. We have Gamera mods. Okay, the other little tiny, tiny bit there tore, so I'll just take my Sharpie pen and do the little twirl there. <laughs> I couldn't resist. I could not resist. <laughs> oh, okay, so there we go. And I, I need some combat boots, but I don't have any. If I come across some, which I probably have some in here somewhere. <laughs> Okay, let's move along. Okay, you know, I've got all this little pink stuff. Maybe we'll do now, we'll do frilly. Now we can do a little frilly girls. You know, this just kind of reminds me of uh, back when I would scrapbook. Let's do this. Seem, seem so frilly. <laughs> Don't mess. Don't mess with <laughs> What else pink do I have in here? What else? Hmm. Kind of like those. I like these arrows. It's just whatever, guys. It's just whatever <laughs> you like. Whatever you like. Things like that. Let's see. Do I have something? I thought I had some other things here I pulled. I kind of like this library card. And you can also, guys, you can, um, <clears throat> you can, what do you call it, um, gesso and paint, but I wouldn't do necessarily do that in this thin book. This, this is very thin, you know, uh, this is a very thin paper. And if you do any kind of gessoing or anything like that in this, it's it's gonna really wrinkle up. I, I mean, if that's fine. I mean, I don't. That's if you want to do that. But um, just FYI. Oh no, this needs to go back over here. This is gonna have to be something where <laughs> somehow that's gonna have to go on that page. I don't know yet. Okay. Um, cats are at the door. Let's see what else do we have here. Okay, so I don't want any of these robots right here. 
throw these back. All right. So let's see. I think I'll just do this, do this, and do this. Let's start with this. Okay. I'm not going to be too fussy about it. I just want, it's just stuff like stuff I want to throw down. See, I've got uh, I got my mods backs right now. I'll move this down. Oh, I already glued it to. Her. That's going to be a little off. Just have to trim trim her hat. <laughs> There's not room. All right. <clears throat> So you can do whatever you want. It can be a little scene. It can be a little story. It could be a little, just a little collection of colored things that you like. Um, so do I like this and this. I don't think I'll do that. Just little things you like. It could be one thing on a page. It could be a bunch of things on a page. You know? We could probably put a little Timmy, a little quote on here. It's getting rid of the excess glue. Where's my Timmy quotes? Here we go. Let's see what we got here. Oh. Let's see. We are fearless. Oh, I'm looking. Make it happen. We are fearless. Make it happen. <laughs> It was in the way. It was going off the page. And then down here, let's see. Creativity takes courage. And focus on what's important. There we go. And then I just need some, I need some, I need a, I need a couple of words. I need a word. Hang on. Where could I, let's see, do I need to dig out some stamps or can I just write it? I think I'll just write it. I'll just write it. Fibs. Friends in the box. Make that look like an E. There we go. <laughs> Fibs. Friends in the box. We are fearless. Make it happen. Focus on what's important. Creativity takes courage. I like it. You like this page, De uh, De Deanna? <laughs> there we go. All right. Moving right along. Let's see what else we can do. Got all kinds of watches, flowers. I do like this bird. And then this is some, I oh, am not loving that. It's kind of. I do like this bird. Mm. I think we'll go back to, um, oh, look at this little bit of oranges. Or those are, maybe they're lemons. I like those little lemons. That would be a good hat. This would be a good hat of some, or something. Or maybe it's some flower. Oh, you know what? I think it's the top of a flower. Could be, or could be some oranges in a bowl. I don't know. Let's look at our rub-ons again. Go back to our rub-ons. Mm. 
I like this uh, fish bowl. It says pet shop. I want that bottom part off. Well, I'm going to rub it on, so. Okay, just a fish bowl like this. I like this. All right. Just whatever, whatever you like. I'm going to make these more rounded. Eileen, what are you and Janet going to do today? Any ideas yet? I'm going to work in the, uh, what do you call it, scavenger hunt? Yeah, it's not tissue paper. It's rub-ons. It's on tissue paper, Gaga. It's it's on a tissue paper, but they're rub-ons. Yeah, we're going to rub on in just a minute. All right, so let's glue this down. Again, you can do this in a composition book. You saw my big fluffette. You can do this in a composition book. And it doesn't have to all be just centered. I'm just doing it because I want to. <laughs> it doesn't have to be that way. Hi, Michelle. Bye, Tammy. Well, these rub on Cheryl, these were, let me see if I can show you the packaging. These were marked down at uh, Michael's. Uh, they're a, what do you call it? Oh, there's one of the packaging. Mm -mm. They were marked down at Michael's. Seven gypsies here. This is what they look like. They come in a package like this. And they were marked down this big sheet, full sheets like this. They're normally like, they were like seven or eight dollars. They were marked down for like a dollar ninety nine or something like that. But they come in a package and then it shows on the back that what is in that package. I don't know, that five, six, seven different kinds. I don't remember how many kinds they had. But seven gypsies is who put those out. So what you do, this one says pet shop. I need to put that on something. All right, so what I want to do though with here. And you can also, how many here have not ever made packing tape transfers? Anyone? Because I'll make you one if you haven't. Packing tape transfers. Do I need to show y'all how to do one of those? Yeah, draw your fishbowl. Yeah, see, it's inspiration, guys. You don't have to do it exactly the same. This is for your own inspiration. This is your inspiration mixed media glue book. You have it, Michelle? You have it? Okay, Nana Mo, you haven't either? Okay, let me do this, and then I'll do you. Whoops. Now, you got to hold them steady. You, some, some people like to tape it down. It's probably a good idea if you tape them down because they will slide on you if you're not careful. Uh, I'll do your packing tape transfers. They're very cool. I'll go get something. To, I'll go get me a, uh, some juice because I'm getting thirsty. And my coffee's cold. And I'll show y'all how to do that. I didn't invent it. It's been around forever. And you can see here, you can see on your... Um, rub on you can see where it's rubbed off I, you may not be able to but I can see where it's taken okay so what I have to do to do the rub on transfers I have to I'll get out a magazine I think I've got one or two um, fashion magazines those are, those are always good because you want to thin the cheaper the ink the better and fashion magazines have the cheapest ink other things work too and you can also do uh, map, uh, medium ones. I'm just going to do the simple packing tape one. Okay, so there we go. So like right there, I, I was saying earlier, if you miss a spot, whether it's on a rub-on or if it's on a stamp, just fill it in yourself. And then what you do is you take your rub-on and you just kind of, or the paper, and just kind of make sure it's all mashed down. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I am going to go get me some juice, and I need a little bowl of warm water, and then we will do it. Okay? Uh, oh, and a magazine thing. Okay, we'll do that. You'll like it. It's fun if you've never seen one. Okay, here we go. Here's one of my old, um, I don't know how old this one is. I don't even know what's that old or not. But anyway, I've got a fashion magazine here. 
All right, let me go get a bowl of warm. Well, it, it needs to be kind of really warm. I'll get a bowl and I'll fill it up in the bathroom here. Uh, I won't carry it all the way up the stairs. So let me go um, get me some juice and that and my packing tape. And you'll see. Where's my packing tape? All right, where's my packing tape? I just used it to pack and pack and stuff up. Okay, wait a minute, guys. I've got to find my packing tape. There's other tapes. Is it on my table? Did I leave it over here? Hang on, I got I gotta have that. What do I do with it? All right, wait a minute. Packing tape's gone missing. Wow, I just used it. Just used it two days ago. Where'd I put it? Hang on, guys. I'm searching. Is it on my table here? Wow. Well, we won't be doing it if I can't find the packing tape. Hmm. Seriously, I don't. That's weird. I usually put everything right back where it goes. And I cannot find my packing tape, guys. I'm looking on my table. I'm looking here. I'm looking there. Well, seriously? Okay. Well, I can't find my packing tape, so we can't do it. I can tell you how to do it. But I'm not going to be able to show you because I can't find it. And that's the only one I have, too. I only have one. And when that runs out, I go get another. So, well, I'll have to explain to you how to do it. I don't think it'll work with scotch tape. I can try it, but I've never tried it with scotch tape. Because it needs to be a heavy-duty tape. Sorry, guys. Can't find my packing tape. Okay, well, let me go get some juice, and uh, we can try it with scotch tape. At least I can show you how to do it. I can show you how to do it. Okay, I'll be right back. downstairs crisis averted found my packing tape downstairs now let me get some hot water in this bowl I brought up all right let me run the water for a minute and get some hot water in a bowl okay it was downstairs okay no breath but I got it Packing tape. <laughs> All right, let me get the water. Okay, here come the cats. I might have to throw them out too. We'll see. Um, we'll see. Oh, some paper towels. All right, here we go. Paper towels. Hang on. Okay, so you need some warm 
water. So I just got a little bowl here of warm water. As long as the cats don't jump up here. All right, so is everything okay in chat? Um, okay, I guess the, uh, okay, baby, yeah, yeah, we're going to have to go out. There's too much stuff here for you to get into. All right, sorry. Um, the troll's still about. Okay. Just let the mods let the mods kick them, guys. Yeah, just ignore them, guys. If the, the more you talk about them, the more they that's what they want. They want you to talk about them. So just don't talk about them, okay? The mods will kick them, and that's what we can do. If you see a mirrored ca channel that's not the person's channel, then report it. Okay. All right. So let's see. Hi, Aunt Beck. All right. So what we'll do is uh, just find something you like in a magazine. Uh, let's see. Uh, and where's my packing tape? Here we go. So I'm going to take piece of packing tape. Find what you want. Okay. Make sure you rub, rub it down really well where you put it. You can tell if it's not rubbed down enough, you'll be able to tell. So once you rub it down really, really well, the tape goes, you know, solid. You won't see any haziness to it. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to get rid of the excess here. Just, to, and it can do whatever you want. It can be whatever part of the packing tape. I mean, you can cut, pick whatever you want. Okay. So this is what I picked right here. Let's just cut some of this. Okay. So that's what I pick with my packing tape. So now what you do is you take your warm water. Okay. And you put it, put it in here, put it in the water. Uh, Linda, this is an impromptu. We never have our supplies ready. <laughs> I shouldn't say never. This is an impromptu show. Somebody wanted to see this done. So I stopped what I was normally doing to do this to show it. Okay. We uh, do a lot of impromptu stuff like that around here. So just settle down, girl. Settle down. <laughs> All right. So you get this nice and wet. <laughs> yeah, Desert Nana. And then take you um your take your paper towels. Yeah, my show is not for everybody. It is a chat show. We do rabbit trails. We go hither, tither, and yawn. And I understand it's not for everybody, and that's okay. Okay, so now you turn it over and you peel off. Okay, you'd peel off the paper. See, the paper comes right off. And what you're left with is the packing tape with the ink on it. Okay, so then what you do is you dry that off. And there you are. You have a packing tape transfer. That is clear. And because it's clear, you can put it over the top of other things. See, it's clear. Isn't that cool? Let's get some. Let's see what there's something else here. See, it, it's transparent. So you can put it over the top of anything. Right? <laughs> Thanks, Armadillo. <clears throat> so she could even go right there. I mean, it's translucent, so you can put it over things too. But if you like, we can glue her down. We'll put her as part of this. Well, 
we'll do another one. And then you can just use your glue stick or, you know, nice clear. So you can use whatever you want. But because these papers are very thin, you want to smear your glue out so that it uh, doesn't leave a bump on the other side. So there you go. And so you have your own packing tape transfer. And again, the benefit of this is because it's clear, you can put you can put it on top of other things. Okay, in this case, I just put it down there, but you can put it on top of other things. Okay, so that my it's still you want it warm, otherwise it just takes a while. All right, so let's go back to our magazine. Let's find something else here. This might be cool. Uh, it kind of looks too much like a stamp. I want to do something in color. Let's find something in color. Uh, you can do the words. You can do like this. This might be good. Here, let's test this out. All right, so I'm going to take a piece of tape. Okay, let me just tear this whole page out. Okay, and then take your popsicle stick, bone folder, whatever. You just want to make sure that you have it completely mashed down because if you don't, it's not going to work. You got to have it completely mashed down. And again, the fashion magazines are the best. Yeah, you can do, you can mat. Well, it's your, it, if you, your matte medium over tape, you can do it, but I don't know why you'd want to because the ink is on the back side. The ink is on the underside of the tape, not the top of the tape. So the matte medium isn't really going to do anything except make it matte right because your ink is on the bottom okay so now let's let me get a bigger scissors here. all right so now i'm gonna cut this down so we have the quote see it's on the back now I'm going to get it wet. <clears throat> so, yeah. all right, just get it, you just get it, get it wet for a second. <laughs> you know, we used to do so many uh, happy mail packages, and I know a lot of people still do faithful mess, does nice packaging, and I used to do a lot of nice packaging, but I found that, and I don't know, you know, you take your chances, but uh, male people, or and I'm not accusing the mailman, but uh, uh, a lot of that can get kept. People, oh, I love that stamp. I love that package fully decorated. So I don't know. I think it's safer if you just decorate the inside. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to turn it over, and I'm just going to rub off. Did I get it wet enough? Uh, needs a little bit more. You got to get it really, really saturated. You can even do it in the, in the bowl. You can even, you know, start peeling it off in the bowl. Right? So I'm going to peel off the paper, peel off the paper and like clean it off, just kind of wash it off there, and then dry it. Yes, packing tape, just packaging tape, shipping tape, packaging tape. Okay, <clears throat> and there you go. It's, it's stuck on the back. The ink, the ink has now adhered to the back of the tape. And it's translucent, see? <clears throat> well, yeah, I guess you could, Cheryl, but the fun thing about this is where you can use it on other things. You know, you can use it over things. Now, this is a little dark. I just wanted to try it because of the lettering, but it's translucent. See, we'll do one more. Okay, we'll do one more. Um, 
Let's see. Let's pick something out. And like I said, the Fashion Magazine ink, the Fashion Magazine ink is very uh, movable. I don't know what you want to call it. Let's do these three girls here. Let's do these three girls. <clears throat> All right, so let's get my packing tape here. Let's do these three faces. Okay. Let me cut off the excess here because it's, I'll stick it to my table. I made the tape go past their faces. All right. <clears throat> so now we just rub it down. And this is an, a, a very important step. You have to rub this down. You can use a spoon. You can use a butter knife, a popsicle stick. You know, I'm using a bone folder, whatever. You have to stick it down really, really well. Okay, now I'm just going to cut, cut the tape off. And you can, you know, there's thicker packing tape. Some people lay, can layer it up and have it work for them. Like put multiple, like, a, you know, do the whole body of those girls. Do you know what I'm saying? With layers of tape. I saw someone do the packing tape trick on a jelly plate with paint. Yeah, Patty Tolly Pears, probably, probably. All right, so now you just take, this is very old technique, guys. This is way, this goes way back. Packing tape transfer. And I think my water's still warm enough to get it to, doesn't have to be hot water, but warm water just works quicker. And just soak, you're soaking the back of the tape. You're soaking the piece of magazine paper. Just don't use a ruler. <laughs> did you and, uh, um, did you and Janet decide what you're going to do today? Oh, yeah, we love rabbit trails around here. If you're not a rabbit trail person, oh, this might not be the channel for you. Just saying, because we do a lot of it. <laughs> um, where's my little thing here? This is what uh, Sharon sent me. Sharon Sharon L. She made this up for me. It's a, it's a <laughs> cartoon. TD says to watch out for you. Rabbit trail one, rabbit trail two. <laughs> And it's going to marker her. Oh, okay. Playing the cast book. Yeah. Uh, you put a link to Cass's channel in there, guys. Cass Kathy. So they can see. Let's see if I got that. Uh, it needs a little bit more. My water's getting a little bit uh, cooled off. It really warm water works best. But let's see if I can get it going here. Uh, Cass Kathy's um, channel. There it goes. And it'll all peel. See how it just peels right off? Where she made the book. Okay, there we go. Now don't throw this down your sink. Throw this in your trash. You don't want this going down your sink. <laughs> Just FYI. All right, so got a little bit of water going on here. Let's uh, dry our piece of tape. And here is our, see, it's transparent. So you can put it over things or it's, you know, it's just translucent. That's what the benefit of it is. is you've made it, is you've made it transparent. Okay, so we can put this in the book somewhere. Let's dry it off. And see, it's permanent. It's stuck. The ink is stuck to the tape. The ink is stuck to the tape. Dry. Probably use a glue stick on this. Let's go to a blank page here. I'm not putting it over anything, but you could. But I just want you to see. Let 
There we go. Thanks, Eileen. So there we go. Something like that. Inspiration. See, now I'll remember about the packing tape. Remember to shine. See, it's shiny. It's just like tape. See? The ink is on the back. The back side. Let me move that water off to the side. Okay. So, next. <laughs> we'll do a few more. We'll do a few more. You're welcome, Nanamo. You're welcome. Okay. Um, let's see what else we can do. We'll go back to gluing, gluing things. Let's put this uh, toward the front of the book. There we go. <laughs> Oh, there we go. All right, so let's just flip through. Again, this is the Freestyle Really Big Notebook, two inches, 800 pages. It's pro it's the uh, pro Productive Ludite is the name of the company that puts this out. You get it on Amazon. I've never seen it in the bookstores. That's just me. Let me get up some of this water here. Um, <clears throat> and it is thin paper. But I'm using it for like a inspiration mixed media glue book. So after you glue things down, like that's one of my stamps. I hand wrote my name, glued that. They can go in there and play with, um, you know, play with uh, other elements. You can, uh, you can uh, doodle on it. You can do whatever. Okay, so this is just a couple things that we did this morning. Hi, Christine. Yes, we have the awesome mods. Oh, I like this mustache. Let's see if this will peel off. See, this is really old and doesn't want to peel off. It's wanting to tear. Let's see if I can get this off here. It's too big for her or him. I don't know. Or him, statue. But now I've got this mustache here. Let's see. Maybe I'm going to see if I cut it in half. Too big. It almost could be wings. <laughs> Instead of a mustache, we'll put little wings. Bye, Kenny. Thanks for stopping in. Yeah, you could do a lot of things you can do with it, guys. This is just some ideas, just to throw in you out some ideas here. Put it in your book. That's one of those packing tape transfers. Just little bits of collage fodder, right? Oh, I like this. Let's put the pet shop here. This is a little leftover rub-on. In the future, your pet shop might be might be a robot. <laughs> what were those uh what were those toys? Furbies? Furbies? The ones that talked or you know, I think it was back in the 80s, maybe 90s. Bye, Faith. Have a good day. Thanks, everybody. Kathy's World, Dee Dee, are the pages holding up with the weight of gluing them and not coming loose? No, this is a, it's a, if they won't, if you're kind of careful, this book is pretty sturdy because I have had, had one exactly like this before, just a different color, and none of the pages ever fell out. None of the pages ever fell out, fell out of this. But I have had some books that they have. And all I do is just tape them in. I just put a piece of tape. <laughs> just put a piece of, I don't, you know, and this kind of book, these kind of books are for fun and idea collecting. And if a page starts to fall out, I will just put a piece of masking tape, painter's tape, washi tape. You know, if you put glue on, it will work. But washi tape's not strong enough to really hold anything, you know. 
Um, it was the Furbies. Is that what I was thinking of? Oh, you're not leaving Kenny is. Okay, faithful. My mom pitched up at old Furby. She pitched out, pitched out a Furby still in the box. She could have sold that baby, I'm sure. So, and then here's, these are some of my uh, rabbit trail stamps that I carved. It's just an eraser, carved eraser. Maybe I should pull, let's pull out some stamps and do some stamping, shall we? Here's my uh, We Are Gamera mods. <laughs> I want to put this in here too. I want I want her to be in here and I'm going to put something in here. So let's go ahead and glue her down while I'm here. I'll pull out some stamps, some of my hand carved ones. Now, if you, again, if you want to see a lot of hand carved stamps that are really awesome, go watch Mary. Mary, let's kind of go over that corner there. Mary has uh, been carving stamps for quite some time. Okay, I need another baby wipe. That's sticky. <laughs> Stamping next. Yeah, let's stamp. Let's go on another rabbit trail. <laughs> okay, so anyway, I just, it's it just whatever you want to throw in here, guys, is just throw it in here as inspiration. And then you can go back if something inspires you, write a story, write some details, throw some more information down, you know, more doodles, more whatever, you know, whatever you, whatever you want. Okay. Uh, let me move some. I got to make some space now. Hang on. <laughs> Okay, let's all stay happy. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. uh, let me move. Let me move my tray here. This is just one of my trays from my Ben O uh, collage fodder. I'm going to just set that up here. And we'll just stamp in this book. Now, I do have this book here. This is just to prop this side up so that we're on a... We're on a level playing field while we uh, glue and stuff. All right, so let's see what kind of stamps, shall we? All right, let's move the tapes, the packing tapes. Take a sip of juice. Yes, y'all need to follow Mary Altier. Put so if she's not here, she need, someone can put a link. Okay, let's go with these stamps. I think these have a lot of my hand carved ones in it. So I've got one, two, three, four. I've got about four or five bins of stamps. But I think this one, because I see that right there, I think this one has most of my hand carved ones. So we're going to go with this bin. I also have another one sitting up here somewhere. Another one of my hand carved ones that I use a lot of time in my Happy Mail, other than my owl and my rabbit. But, okay, so we're going to open this one up. Let's see what we got in here. So I do have them kind of broke out. Uh-oh. Let's move this. I have them kind of in some bins. Like these are those. I are they Timmy, Tim Holtz ideology ones? I don't know what happened to that. Um, I have a bunch of these different ones here in this little bin. I, I love um stamps that have uh, sh uh just designs like this <laughs> like this these are great for paint right same thing for this this is kind here this kind here this is good for paint but you want to make sure and clean them because if you don't they're going to crust over um, here's another one that has shapes on it Here's just a dot. Okay, so here's some, like, here's when I started started carving. This is uh, one of those thick things. This is not the eraser ones. That goes in this. This goes in there. So, oh, I just broke my Bosch. Oh, he's so old. Um, yeah, this is one of my, uh, yeah, Heromius Bosch. I think I'm saying that right. Her Heromius. I never can say his first name. But anyway, um, yeah, he's pretty old. But you know what? That that makes me want to do, though. That makes me want to stamp him 
broken. Wait, where's my stamp pad? Hang on. Where's my stamp pad? I gotta get past all the collage fodder here. It's back here somewhere. There's my little owl. We stamped him in the front. I keep him out because I use him on Happy Mail a lot. All right, let's, uh, yeah. And stays on, stays on, will, can go through, or ghost, it can ghost through this thin paper. But I don't care about that, but just FYI, if you care, you know, always you have a back page where you can test. Okay, let's put him on here. All right, I got to stand up and put some pressure. I love the smell of stays on in the morning. Okay, now let's do this little bit here. Yeah, and I could tilt it and turn it. I'm just kind of doing it that for now. And then if it's not filled out like you want, you can always go in with paint or ink and... Uh, Oh, did I see the mailman? No, I thought I did. And you can fill in any place that didn't get dark enough for you. Now, if you use a Sharpie pen or something like that, that's going to go through. Okay, so you can see it kind of ghosted just a little, but it didn't go all the way through. But if I went with a Sharpie pen, which let me do that just so you can see. I'll take my uh, cardstock to put behind it so it doesn't go to three or four pages. But if you want to, anytime you have a rubber stamp and it's not, if you don't like it, not completely filled out, you can do this with paint. You can do it with a Sharpie. You can do it with a lot of different things. And also, if you have color of ink, you know, like I have all the, um, what are those called, Eileen? The oxide, oxide inks. Stamps, stamp pads. So I'm just going to show you just a little bit here so you can fill in. Or you can leave it because it kind of looks cool not solid in as well. What did Pacola say? I uh, bet it looks cool. Um, I missed something, Pacola. Yes, I <laughs> I know, right? It's, you know, that's from the movie. Uh, what was that movie? That war movie? Yeah. I mean, they didn't say stays on. <laughs> oh, the smell of stays on in the morning. Okay, so. And it's the same thing if you use a Copic. Copics will go through as well. But it just looks really good, you know, filled in. So there, see? I didn't want, it didn't, it didn't really, well, there's a couple places. I just didn't want it to go over to that page. So there we go. <clears throat> and this is, uh, I could write his name here. Let me, let me get it how to spell it though. It's really me. <laughs> I'm still double checking on each other, making sure it's you. Okay, let's see. Heromius, Heromius, B O S C H. I want to get how to spell his name correctly. All right, here we go. So I'm going to write it. I'm going to write it up here in my uh, brush lettering. So am I spelling it right? H yeah, okay. <laughs> I 
There we go. Okay, so there's that stamp with uh, some brush lettering. Although it's not really a brush. Okay, oh, that's a little mustache. Okay, let's see what else we can do. Let's see what else we can stamp. Another, okay, I got a couple of gargoyles here. These are some hand carved gargoyles. And some people think gargoyles are like evil, but they really were made to ward off evil. Although, if you watch like the movie, that gargoyle movie, stuff like that, then, you know, they're portrayed as you know, evil, but originally they were like put on churches and to ward off evil. But anyway, so this is a carved one. A friend of mine had a newspaper called the gargoyle and I carved this for him to have an emblem. And I don't know that I got in all those. I really want to get in all those little carvy areas. I don't know if I really ink this well enough. We'll see. And also, if you want to make sure you get a good image, you can also, you can go underneath of it like this and rub it like a print, you know, like, a, uh, what am I thinking of? Anyway, you can make sure that you're rubbing it well. You just got to be careful you're not moving it. Okay, so either that or make sure you put the pad, a stamp pad under there. See, I think I jiggled it. Well, I looked up on the camera. I think I jiggled it, but that's okay. Yeah, see, I didn't put enough ink on it either. Usually what you want to do is ink it once, stamp it off, and ink it again. Because that second printing, the second printing will be darker. You know? I put something behind it so it doesn't go through. We'll stay about we'll stay about 15 more minutes. I'll stamp a few more of these off uh, my hand carved ones. We'll stamp for about 15 minutes. I'll go eat lunch. I can't walk yet. Maybe it's gonna clear up after a while enough to get a walk in. But we'll go to Janet's. We'll go to Janet's and Eileen's. Bye, Mary. Anybody else coming in? Okay, so. I'm not going to, I should carve some of my, I mean, I should stamp out some of my carved alphabets, but I'm not going to have time for that today. If y'all like seeing carved stuff, again, Mary does some awesome, Mary does some, I, I don't want this too smooth. This is really, I want it kind of angular. It's kind of choppy on purpose. Uh, so I don't want to make this too neat. Um, Mary does some awesome uh, carving. On her channel, along with journaling, art journaling, and all kinds of awesome stuff. I won't do anything else. I'll just do the name there so you can kind of see it. And again, this is a Sharpie. It's going to go through. I put a piece of cardstock there so it didn't bleed. All right, let's see what else do I have in here. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of, kind of sad about that. What else do I have in here? I have some different shapes. I have a tea and coffee there's a tea bag and a coffee. I don't know where my coffee is. Well, I thought most of my, maybe most of my hand carbs are not in here. Here's a bee. I got a cup. No, that's a cat. I have a few, I've carved a few bees. That's not one. I have a, a, po a postage stamp I carved. Hmm, they're not all in here. Here's my initials. Oh, what else? More shapes. It's got tea bag. Where's that? I'm missing some. They're just not in this bin. They're in another bin. There's a wheel. Oh, I thought I was going to have more to show you guys. It's another gargoyle. It's a different gargoyle. Let's, I'll put this one in there. We'll put this one on the back where the gargoyle is backwards. I'll put this one on the back. Cass is going to teach Janet today. Oh, oh, okay. That ought to be fun. Put a link in there, guys. Put a link to Janet's in there. <clears throat> yeah, I thought I had more of my hand-carved stamps in this bin, but they're not in here. Just, just a few. 
Um, like I said, I've got bins and bins. These like my bumblebees are not in here. I've got a bunch of bumblebees that I've carved. Let's see how we can do with this one. I'm going to put this on the back, right, like in between there. Let's see if I can mash it well. Janet comes on at one, Carrie Ann, unless y'all can talk her in. I'm going to be leaving in about five minutes if y'all can talk her into coming on early. Otherwise, she comes on at one, which is about an hour and 20 minutes away, Carrie. It's 1140 here. She comes on at one Eastern, one Eastern. There's my other gargoyle. <clears throat> All right, what else? Uh, yeah, I'm really disappointed that I don't have more of my hand-carved ones in this bin. I don't know what I did with them. But anyway, I think y'all get the idea what you can do in one of these books. You can do stenciling stamping you can do anything but that's why i'm calling it a mixed media glue book because you can glue you can do other things you can you know take any image that you've either stamped or played with and do more with it you can write notes and stories and whatever you want you broke your big penelope stamp <gasps> you did Oh, we love Penelope Stamp. <laughs> but there's Mary. Follow Mary if y'all and go over to her channel if you want to see a lot of mixed media art journaling. And Mary usually streams before me. She usually comes on at four o'clock in the morning, like four to eight, really, really early. Sometimes she streams overnight. So you gotta subscribe and ring Mary's bell. And thanks guys for all the likes and follows. Thanks everybody that's here. Again, this book is not, it doesn't come with the butterfly. I glued that on. This is the Freestyle Really Big Notebook, Serious Creativity Collection, 800 pages. This is the pink drink. That's what it's called. It's a hot pink. It's two inches thick. And you can see I'm already fluffing it up, which is fine. It'll get, it'll get bulky. I showed y'all fluffette earlier. This will get fluffy like fluffette. But it's for you to collect your um, collect your ideas and things in um, notes and just whatever inspiration. It can be your Society of Idea Collector book. It can be a glue book. It can be a mixed media book. Um, Y'all know we have a gazillion different books. <laughs> I got on Amazon, Marie. Um, Janet put the link in earlier. If she still has it handy. Um, she's, if Janet still has it handy, she'll put it back in for you, but it's on Amazon. If you just put in freely freestyle, really big notebook, but there's some other ones. Some have 200 pages. I think some have 400. This one has 800. So make sure if you want the big mama Jamba that you get the 800 page one, it comes in different colors. I have a black one that I, you know, well, I didn't completely fill it, but I filled it enough that I bought a new one. So I hope y'all have a marvelous day too. I'm hoping the storms are going through. I think we're supposed to still have rain tomorrow, but no, I don't think we're supposed to have any more thunder boomers and any warnings or anything. So um, yeah, thanks, Janet. So Janet, are you going to come on early? Um, or are you going to come on at one? And I think Kathy was going to come on with her. So they might do something together. You're welcome. Don't forget BDI Bath Crafts. Follow her on Instagram to see some awesome, awesome jewelry. Who else? Uh, go for the smaller one. Yeah, and you know you can do the same thing. I did. Sh I showed you my composition book. Let me show you it one more time before you go, in case y'all missed it. Look. Oh, I can get it off the top shelf again. Let me show you the cover first. Here's my composition book. Well, this is the back, <laughs> the back and the front. Look, here's my, this, this is how it, it can end up getting. This is a composition, <laughs> this is a composition book, but uh, <laughs> you're welcome. 
So it will, it, you can get your books nice and fluffy, <laughs> as I like to say. This one is named Fluffette. And uh, <laughs> that, that will happen. This will happen if you uh, put something on every page. So, but it's just a composition book that I covered with, um, I covered with scrapbook paper. But uh, yeah, so just FYI. <laughs> Okay, guys, you want just well, you want it to look like her? Yes, I know. Just put something on every page, and it and it will look like her. <laughs> oh yes, and Julie does like well. She said it looks like all her comp books too. Well, thanks, guys, for all the uh, thumbs up on the way out the door. Thanks, Diana Phillips. Thanks everybody for being here. I hope y'all had a little you know relaxing chill day. And, uh, and we'll see you at Janet's. Bye, guys.